What up, everybody? Welcome to the Smoking Tire Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Auto Tempest. Auto Tempest is a great service that helps you save time. And if you're like me, time equals money. Therefore, you save money. Auto Tempest saves you time by allowing you to not have to do things twice. What I mean is, Normally, if you're looking for a car, you got to check out like a dozen different sites. And what happens, right? You see the same cars listed over and over, different sites. And, and you just wish that somebody would do the work for you of looking through all of that garbage and just helping you find what you want. That's what Autotempest.com does. It searches all of those sites for uh, with your queries, whether you're browsing or looking for a specific car, and it brings them all into one place, then compares those results from Craig list nationally and eBay Motors. It really simplifies the search for a car. You don't have to do double work. You don't have to spend hours looking around just to find the same cars listed over and over on a million different sites. Autotempest.com has you covered. We are so happy to have them as a, a sponsor. They've been around for a long time and, and I use them. When I'm looking for a car, when I was looking for a car for Hannah, I used Auto Tempest. I ended up getting some weirdo JDM stuff, but still, Auto Tempest helped me gauge the market. Check out autotempest.com next time you're looking for a car. And, of course, the Brio Beardscape uh, charged mine back up, and I am ready to go for, like, another year. The Beardscape is a revolutionary new type of uh, buzzer. You know, a trimmer, like the battery-powered thing that trims your hair. Just about every guy's got one, and just about every guy has had an experience with a bad one. I know I have. Whether it's the blades get dull, the motor's loud or not that powerful, it wears out, the battery stops holding charge, things fall off it. If that sounds familiar, it is time to upgrade to the Brio Beardscape. Uh, It's got a powerful motor, a really big, long-lasting battery, uh, and the blades are ceramic, so they don't rust, and they stay sharp longer than the stainless steel blades. It also means you don't have to oil it quite as often, but it does work better if you do oil it on a normal schedule. comes in a great travel case. Um, I have been using it a lot. It pretty much bounced a professional-grade, like, barber's buzzer uh, out of my, out of my, uh, my dop kit. And it's certainly the only buzzer that I carry on the road. Um, Go to Brio4Life.com. That's the word Brio, B-R-I-O, the number 4, Life.com. And use code SMOKING to get the best price on the internet on the Brio Beardscape. That's Brio4Life.com slash SMOKING. And lastly... It's those Continental belts and hoses. They're back for you, baby. Uh, When you're doing a service on your car, you're changing your oil, you're looking at your brake pads, you're doing filters. What are you not thinking about? But you really should be belts and hoses, people. Hoses, they're in your car. They age. They dry out. If you live in a desert climate, they dry out faster. If your car is older, they might need to be replaced. Check them out. If you blow a hose, you lose your coolant, you're stuck on the side of the road. It could be a big problem, and you don't want that to be a surprise because hoses are not expensive. Belts are not expensive. It's easy to keep those things maintained, especially with Continental belts and hoses. They are launching the aftermarket multi-V belt with the OE pedigree. And what that means is Continental belts are OE, original equipment, in tens of millions of Chrysler, Dodge, Ford, and GM vehicles that roll off the assembly line. They're also OE in the majority of BMWs and Volkswagens. Now, Continental is launching the aftermarket multi-V belt with the OE pedigree. It's engineered fanatically for perfect fit, form, and function. So, check your belts, check your hoses next time you pop your hood, and if they are dry, cracking, or in need of replacement, Continental has... As you covered, go to oetechnologyseries.com. That's oetechnologyseries.com. All right, on this episode of the show, uh, E3 is happening. That's the video game like uh, convention here in LA. If you guys aren't uh, familiar with video games, you probably are. I'm probably the one who sounds old and stupid. Um, Justin Osmer from Xbox, Microsoft, and Forza. He's from Microsoft. The product he works on is Xbox. The game we play is Forza. You know how it is. He's in studio talking about it today. Also, I picked up the Ducati Scrambler. I got my first press motorcycle in uh, four years, I think. So uh, we're gonna. I'm going to try a bike review. We're going to see how that goes. And, um, yeah, it's the Smoking Tire Podcast. Here we go. 
Some it's money. gonna work, but that's a family of yacht owners. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. It's the Smoking Tire Podcast on a motherfucking Monday. Justin Osmer yes. in the house from hey. Microsoft yes, with, sir. with a fucking shirt. I just yes. stopping by on the way got to the Cuba. Car, got the no. car shirts. <laughs> I like this shirt. I can't get with to the Cuba car. Now. The car like liners. Yeah. Yeah. Like Subtle. I would I actually like that. The liner of your shirt. I would like a roll of that pattern. To do a whole interior in like interior. little in little cars. Yes. There you go. Wouldn't that be fun? I love it. How well, are there's you, sir? not enough good car car shirts out there. Um, uh, we're doing very well, very well. Dan e, sends his e, regards, e but I got the I got the card. So I I'm think happy Dan to be doesn't here. want to come back because I got into an argument with him about controllers versus no, steering wheels no, a year no. ago. We're actually competing he's against. <laughs> I'm competing against myself boycotted. right now because he's on our stream. So we've got oh really streaming we have to is compete a thing for, those, for us now. Those precious eyeballs and uh, yeah. So he's on. Where's your stream? Down at at E3. No no. So that's like where where on the internet? Oh on. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Mixer, uh, Twitch, YouTube. Okay. All those. Yeah. The it's, Forza the mic, channel. it's the, it's the Forza, Forza channel. It's the Forza channel. Forza okay, channel cool. on those. Yeah. Um, I uh, I saw the little video last night. Um, the Lego thing. Our announcement. Yeah. yeah. The, the Forza 4. What's well, a Lego expansion Forza, pack? What's the actual Forza word? Horizon 4 Lego expansion. Speed Champions. Speed Champions. Yeah. Expansion and brought you pack. some Thank goodies you. here. I'm very excited for these. These are for, for you or to give away. What no, do you want to do? they're fucking me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, and Zach. I got this uh, Amazon this thing for myself, and it was a ton of fun. I hadn't built a Lego in a long time. It's a fun little dude. Deal me to do. either. I did the. I got uh, full disclosure. Uh, I was paid as part oh, of the a Porsche giveaway. Thing, yes. no, Bugatti. Uh, Bugatti. I built the, yeah. the Chiron. Okay. Yep. And it was uh, like fucking sixteen hundred pieces. Yeah. And me and Hannah, she is the puzzle master. Yeah. Do you, have I talked? To, have you, do you know how you met Hannah, right? Yeah. So you know she does puzzles without the picture? Oh, no. She looks Didn't at the that. fucking box when she opens it, and then she and then puts she it away it. and does it without the picture. She will Hardcore. smash a puzzle, and she'll do entire crossword puzzles in one sitting. Wow. She'll fucking polish off like five or six Sudokus before bed. Like she, <laughs> I'm serious. She's like That's a great. grand champion Scrabble That's player. Great. She'll fuck people up in games. Um, you know, she That's worked awesome. at Mattel, so right. it's only appropriate that That's she's right. good at this shit. But I had her... Pulling parts, yeah. and I was assembling, and we did I loved twelve hours. I love the the time lapse you had. Yeah, that was it cool. was kind of fun. Yeah, and now Hannah's like, get this fucking thing out of the house, and I'm yeah. like, you gotta yeah. wait till the building is done. I have somewhere to put it, and Things she's like, no, space. get it out now. Or I'm smashing it with a sledgehammer. Oh man, she wanted Why? me to throw it off the roof. What? Oh, just Why? To see what happens. Hannah doesn't. It's a little um, aggressive. She has a policy of not like uh, leaving puzzles together. She's she, not one she to glue it, it all together and no, put it up on the wall. No, no, she <laughs> finishes it, and then her favorite thing is to to fucking roll it Crumble like it. a carpet, yep. and then kind of like smash it like on the table. Love it. It's, <laughs> it's, it's great. Cool. Yeah. It's great. Um, but yeah, putting these Lego these Lego guys together is super fun. It is, these and it's so much ones, therapeutic. A hundred percent therapeutic. It's so yeah, this, so this is the Speed Champions. You know, Lego's been doing this for a few years now. Yeah, we and got an this F40. Is the new, yeah, this is part of the new series. So that's how it came about. We, and we have a Senna. And the Lego Senna is much prettier than the actual Senna. Yeah, it's pretty Zach, cool. you want a Senna? Yeah. We have a two. Yeah, yeah. I thought you guys might like those. The F40 is yeah. rad. I really like the F40. That's very looks fun. looks pretty sharp. It yeah. does. And it's, yeah. uh, oh, I had it up a moment ago. They had... Um, like on the on the announcement box, you guys kind of had like a real uh, F forty behind it, and then the Lego in front was yeah. nice. Yeah, the, so, um, I know I'm not up. The video was like super weird and fun. If you don't, yes. I, it didn't, I didn't have a context. Like I mm-hmm. was, someone wasn't like, look at this Lego shit. It was just yeah. like watch the video, right? New yep. Forza thing, mm-hmm. and I click it and I go, what am I watching? Wait, is this? Is this a goof, like an April Fool's goof, or right. we redid it in Lego, or like, are you actually driving Legos in Forza Horizon now? And yeah. I think you're actually driving Legos in Forza Abs- Horizon. Absolutely are, and it's out this week. That's the other great thing. Usually we announce these things, you got to wait a while. Thursday it launches in game. Is it, um, are you, can you bring Lego cars into the regular world, or are they only in a little Lego uh, level? You know, well, so if you remember the Hot Wheels expansion we did a yeah. while back. Oh, it was like an so island, similar, right? Yeah, so we take the Horizon world, yeah. and then we create sort of this Lego world off on the side, uh, which is what the video sort of nods to, right? The trucks taking right. the Lego bricks in. And so, yeah, you can bring, you can mix those worlds, 
uh, but you can bring your you know real world cars into, say, Lego. into the Lego, yeah. and then you can take the Lego out and experience Forza. So it's well, so can you have like a thousand horsepower Lego F <laughs> forty drift That's a car? good question. Like, actually, I should have read up on that. I'm not sure of the, the Lego. I'm not sure of the. You got to be ready for tuning. these kinds of questions. Yes, here. Yeah. modding or the tuning. I'm not sure. I need now. To uh, into what that. rubber compound are the Lego cars? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> there we go. These are the kind of hard hit questions. Where's Dan? <laughs> Help! Is was yeah. Dan nerding out on that kind of shit? Oh yeah, on the dynamics. Of the Lego cars? Well, a little bit. I mean, you have to. We had to take some liberties with the, you know, how the how the car had suspension and wheels so turn. You, you know, on the Lego, like these wheels don't turn and stuff, right? So you got to. Did you make it, it a little bit? Yeah, it's true. But did you did you start <laughs> with the like for the F forty? Did you start with the real F forty dynamics <laughs> and just no, like no. and then go to like seven hundred treadwear tires? <laughs> right. Well, is there is there a lot of <laughs> chassis Dude, flex? Because there's just all these pieces bolted together. A lot of chassis flex. That's right. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. and then how they break up too. You know? Well, the so, one thing I d I don't oh, think I yeah. saw it in the in the video. I wanted to see if when one crashed, would it explode into? Oh, yeah. It does. There's special ways that they fall apart. Oh, so, yeah. fantastic! Yeah, yeah. Genius. Yeah, I didn't see that in the video, and I watched the video so, three times. But I'm so glad to know that, yeah. that that's happened. The the big ones. Um, the shit does work. You know. Yeah, the big the Sharon. Oh, it's amazing! Like I had to assemble the crankshaft and the cylinder heads and like a transmission and a differential and like it had a shifter that would actually like change the ratios yeah. and it had the uh, the all wheel drive like the center dip. It was so cool! Like wow, Hannah, yeah. when we were assembling it, I was like, pretty amazing. She was like, oh, like that's how a limited slip differential works. Like it's such a great visual because like it works until you grab one and then you can feel the tension and like oh, this is great pretty impressive like it's a pretty good mechanical yeah primer. education piece. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 well and it's amazing to me too how they just <clears throat> they miniaturize all that right and still yeah. get it to work it's just oh, incredible that, yeah, that's a picture so. go back to the picture of the engine the zach you didn't you have just have one of the was that my actual that was your actual engine. Engine. I, th I thought it was, I the was engine. like wow it's realistic i was <laughs> like wow this is uh <laughs> well, <laughs> my actual lego engine. did a really good job yeah, it's got fucking nice new main bearing looks like well, actually, these bearings look spun so <laughs> this is a broken geron uh <laughs> so good so okay can you i'm gonna have to apologize because I just haven't been playing very many video games recently. It's fine. You're busy, man. I love you, but you I just, I just on. don't, I just don't find myself doing that. So catch me yeah. up in Forza Horizon Four in general. What part yes. of the world are we fictionalizing right now? We are in the UK. Oh, cool. And the big, uh, the big new news around that is we have four seasons. So oh. every week, the season resets for everybody. For every, is it, every do they all have the same, same time. seasons? Yes. The, the fuck out of here. So it's huge. Yeah. That, is there a day and night as well? Know. Yep. Day and night. Does and every, weather so comes everyone through. has the same weather all the yes. time? Globally? Yep. It's insane. That's so awesome. It's insane. And, and it was something <laughs> that, rad. you know, when the team signed up to do it, they're like, oh, I'm not sure it'll work. And it sure does. And it's been tremendous. That's so every week. Cool. Every week, there's new weather and new seasons, and then there's new content coming in. So rather than, you know, Previously, we did car packs sort of once a month. Uh -huh. We drop a bunch of new content, and now we're doing stuff every week, every day. Actually, yeah, you got, coming I mean, into you got the game. seasonal. It's like a new uh, opportunity to theme shit out. Right? That's right. Yeah, that's right. Oh the my God, the snow has got to be great. Is oh, the snow great. as fun as I think oh, it probably it is. is? Yeah, great. Oh, I bet yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, and then our first expansion we had right before the holidays was uh, Fortune Island, which is sort of this island concept where you get extreme, more extreme weather and cliffs mm. and all sorts of stuff. Mm. Pikes Peak like. Oh, fun. Fun. drifting hills and all of that and so and then lego's our second expansion where we're having this a little bit a of pretty, fun this is a fun one i do like this very yeah. much i think lego i mean they don't i don't think they actually get enough credit for being like pretty authentic i mean i know some of their designs are a little wonky in proportion but yeah. like pretty authentic when it comes to a lot of this stuff yeah. what's that amazing fan site do you know what i'm talking about the lego fan right site now? there's a fan site that using these kits yeah Ha has new sets of instructions to make even better looking cars. Oh yeah, yeah, like the uh, the Lancia Stratos. Oh yes, one. did you see that yes, one? Yes, I've seen like those. Like you, you, yeah. you make that from the GT3 RS kit. Yeah, isn't that crazy? It is crazy. Who thinks that shit up? Yeah, yeah, what that's is, insane. I would, like, what is the methodology? Yeah, of going. Here's a kit that's you know we have to use the same parts and we're gonna make something we redo looks it. Nothing like yes. it. That's yeah, wild. Shit. It is wild. Yeah, I would love to have, look at the Stratos. Isn't that hot? 
It's super cool. That looks way more like a Stratos than the GT3 RS looks like this. 100%. 100%. Yeah. 100%. 100%. That yeah. looks, it looks like a beautiful Stratos. I would, I would it's helpful agree. that it's a fairly like angular car with a lot of flat panels versus the round shapes of a Porsche, but it still yeah, but fills por- in like a lot like of gaps. The Porsche looks like it's full of bullet holes. Yeah. So it's yes, like holes all over the place. Yeah. 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 A few panel gaps on that one. That, I don't know why that one just like didn't work out so good. The Chiron yeah. is pretty good, actually. Yeah. It looks super cool. It's pretty. It's yeah. It's like this big. Yeah. I mean, it's, oh, it's just enormous. Big. It's probably, I don't know, 12, 14 pounds. It's it's yeah. <laughs> it's it's substantial. Yeah, it's and they're hunk. not cheap either. I, mean, I think it was incredible. about three hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. It goes for. But like, yeah, it's crazy. You know, I'll tell you what though. It it that's very that is very expensive, but. It does like present really well. Like the yeah. uh, the instruction manuals are like coffee table books, practically. Like yeah. it's pretty. It's it's a pretty um, like a high quality. Well done. Deal. Yeah, it's yeah. a really high quality item. Yeah. yeah, no, that's great. So yeah, we're just having you know having a chance to have a little bit of fun, get some more audience. You know, totally reach reach some more people with uh, who love Lego. Maybe haven't tried Forza yet. So it's a great opportunity to extend the brand for us. Well, is it important for you guys to um, sort of try to find ways to like blend the physical world and the digital world where you can, I think, right? Well, a little bit. I think part of our expansion continues to be around. What do you need, bend it, bend it, Yeah, just point it a little more at you. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's like a, very, uh, it's a pretty directional mic. Yeah. yeah. That's better. Yeah, there that we go. is better. Yeah, Sorry about you. that, people. No, no, it's cool. Uh, no, for us, it, you know, that, that line we've used before, you've heard us say it, you know, turning car lovers into gamers and gamers into car lovers still very true today. Mm. I think the second part of that story for us is helping define the, the future of automotive entertainment. Mm. So really taking, just looking beyond gaming, gaming obviously is a huge form of entertainment, but taking that to the next level with the streaming, with the experiences like Lego and Hot Wheels, like Fast and Furious back in the day. So what can we do to continue to stoke the flame of the car culture? in our space, but then also looking outside our space where you look at streaming, you look at some of those other platforms that we have to communicate with our fans. Yeah, Growing more fans, just getting more fans excited about cars. And you, it, it may not be very far away where the first instance a fan has with Forza is not with the game. It might be watching a stream, it yeah, might okay. be watching eSports, it might be picking up a Hot Wheels at the store, it's got our logo on it. You know, there's a bunch of different inroads there yeah. to, to experience what we're doing. Yeah, what else is going on in like, like, What's like? What's the new development like with, uh, you know, what has improved in the newest Forzas in terms of like the graphics? Like what? Yeah. What kind of crazy shit has been added? Every time you guys are in here, it's like well, you figured some new graphical yeah. thing. Well, the, the new thing, new hot thing, course is 4K, right? Mm-hmm. So we're able to do everything 4K, 60 frames per second. 4K is pretty impressive, right? So being able to pull pull some of that together in the game has been great. Do you need? Uh, um, forgive me for asking. Do you need mm-hmm. like? really good internet to play this game i mean like if you're talking about 4k yeah. 60 frames the global weather changes all yeah. this kind of stuff like how much like like actual bandwidth. home bandwidth yeah. is required to play this game well you can you can get away with uh you know playing it on a pretty standard setup uh-huh. you know a comcast thing or a, you, you know get a, away with yeah okay but, keep yeah, going. but <laughs> like I, get, I can get away with it like it's yeah, fine yeah. you know uh-huh. but i think there's definitely regions in the world where people download it or have it local yeah, on their yeah, device, yeah. you know, run it off the disk, and then they they hit ping the internet every once in a while. Get your um, updates. So yeah, yeah. So, but it can but, can no. it be played fully offline? Yeah, you can absolutely. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah, what I'm happens sorry, in that? I, I, this people with the are seasons, screaming at their fucking things, going, "What are you retarded?" Like, yes, you know, I'm retarded. I don't play a yeah. lot of video games. No, sorry. fair enough. Fair enough. It's like with the seasons, for example. So if you went offline, mm-hmm. you would just stay in that season until <laughs> you went in and reset fucking groundhog you know, day new, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah well i think it eventually times out and it takes you you, you yeah. move through the seasons offline yeah but it just won't be at that cadence it's every week a new update no. are there some so. new uh in four are there some like awesome challenges oh like crazy real stuff. psycho stuff yeah crazy like jumps over cliffs through water through you know, like flaming yeah, like weeds that. and all sorts I like of the stuff. Suspension yeah. of reality. That's yeah. very good. Well, and, and Horizon gives us that opportunity, right? Mort- Motorsport is still very, very clinical mm-hmm. and serious about you know performance and shaving seconds off your lap time. Horizon's where we go have some fun. Yeah, and so you can suspend that reality a little bit, and it, we have a little bit of fun with that. So, yeah, there's there's also some storylines in it that are new. So you've got little mini mini adventures or mini quests that you can do. Uh, we've got something called 
uh, Horizon Stories, where you're sort of you fall into this whole fictional mini story. So one of them that you do is a, you're a stunt driver. Okay. So the director asks you to do a bunch of crazy stuff, and then oh, by the cool. end you yeah, get that'd be fun. Fun. You know, I like that. I like the yeah, mini stories was, like in Grand Theft Auto. Like you go find like you, you find a mini a dirt yeah. bike, and then it's like go do this thing before you get to just take this anywhere. And there's right. always just like a fun little nugget right. in the yeah. larger narrative. Yeah. yeah. So we've done a lot of that. The barn finds continue to be a thing everybody mm-hmm. loves. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of fun new aspects new cars mm-hmm. we have new cars to talk about besides our lego whips well it's, think, you know there's always great cars we've got uh, the fully re- shared across motorsport and horizon uh, now? not not well it's the same sort of code base the same sort of garage if you will of of uh, cars but you won't see a lot of the race cars for example in horizon right, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and some of the four by four trucks you won't see in motorsport Makes that sense. sort of thing yeah but yeah, there's there's some shared there. Um, the Remax just came in. The Remax C2. Oh, cool. Do you have uh, range? Is there, is there range? No. <laughs> if you have an EV in Forza, can you just can you so, enable and disable so, no. realistic range? No, we should maybe look into that. But Fucking, no, yeah, same maybe with people, the, maybe we'll park that shit for twenty minutes, <laughs> recharge it, <laughs> recharge go get it. a snack, yeah. buddy. Yeah. You're, you're saving the environment. That's right. Well, Zach, no, did it's you just similar turn the to air on. If you did, I hope I turned. Yeah, temp down. You turned the temp down. Thank you. It's, it's getting a little steamy in here. It was because the passion. It's because this game is so hot. That's so hot. My fucking Perfect. kingdom for air. Yeah. You know what's funny? I built our next studio from the ground up, and I, those windows don't open either. <laughs> <laughs> I had a choice, and I, you didn't do it. Choice, you I had your moment. Fucking take it. <laughs> but you probably routed the AC vent into the studio area, whereas this case, where in this case they're yeah. like over there. Yeah. The AC vent uh, comes up under my balls when we produce. Oh, it's gonna well, smell, that's going to smell very good. Well, it's, I can't I, wait for yeah, that. Yeah, it's like, plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh. Uh, hmm, Hannah changed her Skip. toothpaste. Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, did you include the race trucks? The, like the big semi race mm-hmm. trucks from Brazil? Yeah, we've got... That All was sorts my favorite of, thing from the last motorsport. Yeah. That shit was great. Yeah, there's a lot of those. And yeah, so back to the Remac and the electric. Oh, you know, yeah, it's similar to the gasoline. You know, we don't make people fill their tanks because it's that's the no fun part. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Remax oh, probably- Is that what it looks like? Yeah. Is that yeah. the new Remac? Yeah, that's that's the that's the C- What was the first one called? C1? C1. And this is C2? This is the C2. Do we know the difference? Zach, uh, do you? C2's got some tweaks to it from range and performance. Uh, I saw it in Geneva. The crazy thing about it is the- uh, it's got a camera next to the door. Uh, Facial recognition to unlock the car. Ugh, what? I don't want Freaks that. me out. Don't it want reminds that. me of like Tom Cruise, you know. Yeah, the, Minority this, Report? Yeah, Fuck just you know, put a mask on and somebody swipe your car Listen, from you. All exactly. someone's got to do yeah. is murder you and rip your eyeball out That's and right. they can steal your car. I, I don't want it's that. That's, no. Yeah, it's too simple. Uh, the specs you guys put up says 1,900 horsepower. 1,900! Zero to 60 in under <laughs> two seconds. Yep. Um Zero to one eighty six and eleven point you know eight. Fuck me, eleven I mean, eight. Yeah, yeah. It's no Tennessee Venom slouch. GT was twelve zero. Yeah. <sighs> wow. That and fast. Listen, let me tell you something. That thing was not slow. Yeah. That car was scary as a motherfucker. Yeah. This will be. I yeah, mean, scary. like a like a Tesla Hunt one hundred is. Yeah. Like, All right. That's real fast to seventy. Didn't, yeah. didn't hit that wall. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It just yeah. keeps going. Yeah. It's a good that's looking right. car. Yeah. Um, so we're having pictures. some fun with that. That's a probably the latest piece of content and then like i said lego drops this week thursday so anybody's got the expansion pass we'll get that or you can buy it separately and have some fun does the rimat i think is it pronounced rimat isn't it rimat R- yeah. it's yeah because it's rimat yes. check is it uh, check? Uh, yes right check. yes um croatia croatia, croatia. sorry croatia. croatia i apologize croatia. Uh, I'm, I'm lightly racist um when in the game do you give it space noises or something no, I mean, it's, it's got its sort silence. of hum. Well, it's not silence. It's got sort of a little it's hum a little to whir. it. Whole, yeah, a little whirl to it. That's a very good looking yeah. car. That's a it really, really is. Yeah, I saw it in person and it's uh, pretty tremendous. What was that yeah. car that oh, it existed for like a year? Uh, Top Gear had it and it caught fire. The one Hammond flipped? No, no, no. Not the, that's the, That was the C1. This. No, no, no. But it was a, this was a gas powered car. Okay. It was from the Middle East somewhere and it was like 1,200 horsepower. And Clarkson had it, and it caught on fire. The front end looked a lot. The Caparo? No. Like the, uh, no, like the open like, wheel thing. I don't. I'm trying to remember. Fuck. Uh, I forget what it's called. But it had the front end looked a lot like, like that. that. Zenvo, a Zenvo oh, Zen. ST1. Oh, those. There's some like viral uh, social media like drift videos that keep going around from some company, and the front ends look exactly like Zenvos. Oh yeah, it's, those? A, it's a Russian company, and yeah. I think they're yeah. modifying Corvettes. 
right? Uh, Isn't that it? It's the turn Corvettes and these drift cars. Yeah, but the yeah. fronts the are fronts absolutely are, yeah. these. Oh, there's uh, a Zenvo. Zenvo, yeah. it really wasn't bad looking. I liked That's it a lot. Sexy. Yeah, we've got that in game too. You really? Know that in the yeah, game? yeah. Probably the yeah. best place to actually drive. <laughs> <laughs> they had a launch yeah. at Willow Springs, and no one was allowed to drive them. It was I like remember three that. Mile, remember yeah, it was they like invited right me. Along. Yeah, launch they at the track, and nobody could they drive. They invited it. me, and I declined. I don't fucking drive to the racetrack to get a ride. No, fuck out of here. No, sorry, I'm spoiled. Well, but you yeah. and your rain too. It seems like have huh? you broken that now? You show up for drives and it doesn't rain. Oh, I went to yeah no I well I I had a fuck I had a. I had a streak for a while that was like any American car that was like over 500 horsepower, it yep. rained at the rained. racetrack. Yeah. Um, I, I did, uh, I've had dry track days since. Okay, I did good. break that streak eventually. And uh, the Supra, I also went to Summit Point five times in a row and it rained every time. Oh my God. But the Supra launch, it was dry. So it was yeah. fine. All right. Supra in there the game, go. new Supra? Probably, right? Not it yet. will be. Imagine it will be. I hope so. Maybe. Yeah. It's nice to drive. Yeah. They've been uh they've been posting some dyno results and uh they are strong. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're way over yeah. what they advertised, right? It was like yeah. eighty more for pounds of torque. Uh BMW yeah. does the same shit that Audi does, which is a worst case horsepower number. Mm -hmm. So it probably makes the advertised horsepower like at the top of Mount Washington, you know, in, in a, the summer in a windstorm in a hundred right. degrees. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 Which yeah, is yeah. good. I mean, that's good. Fucking yeah, do that. For sure. Right. Sell me a 350 horsepower car and make it 400 horsepower. I will not complain. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, we think, we, yeah. we hypothesize the McLaren does that. Yeah. They just put the same engine and everything and tell yeah. people it's different just power levels, yeah. but it really isn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of Senna, we've got the full-size Lego Senna on stage at E3 this this week, too. Oh, so, yeah. That's the North American debut as well as the first public debut of it. It's does super it, like, cool. Does it drive? No, it's not like Remember the Bugatti. They built the Chiron yeah. like, moved a bit, yeah. right? Yeah, this one does not drive, but the doors are open. You can sit in it. They put a real seat in it and a real steering wheel in it. Bro, the lights turn that on looks kind of fire. Yeah. Wow. It's pretty cool in person, i'll tell you I'll what tell you. It's if amazing. i owned a senna i would a thousand percent get it wrapped to look to like look it like looked, that to look exactly like go. that yeah that would be the coolest wrap you could put on a senna. that's a very cool idea yeah yeah that they does did a great job with it it's pretty, it looks pretty cool yeah, yeah it's amazing cool. that they can do this kind of stuff and they just yeah. it's really incredible yeah. what a gig it's right so to, heavy to, too. It's crazy. that team that does I that look on right isn't that the same team the that they build that do, does legoland right yeah it's, it's like these all these super experts. skunk works yeah yeah that looks badass as hell dude so it's looks, really, that looks way better than the actual setup <laughs> it actual almost looks like you're better. playing nintendo yeah. it looks like someone designed yeah, it, it looks you know, eight bit eight bit yeah 3300 pounds whoa Let's see. It doesn't have the. It's like a thousand pounds heavier than the here, actual center. That's yeah. That's kind of funny. It's yeah. so heavy. and There's no engine. Yeah, it's a lot of bricks for sure. Wow. Yeah. They must have at this point some type of computer modeling. Well, like I where they laser scan it. a Senna yeah, yeah. and then it spits out some kind of algorithm, many, right? Yeah. It's got to. They must. Or maybe they don't. Can you imagine? <laughs> Maybe they don't. Maybe they yeah. just figure that shit out totally by hand. Like, well, some of those Lego Master folks are pretty incredible. I mean, some yeah. of the stuff they're doing, building, recreating full cities, and yeah, you know, all of that. And there's a core group the Lego of Lego Coliseum. Yeah, there's. there's a, a, we were in in Rome. I saw a yeah. Lego Coliseum, yeah. which they. <laughs> it's amazing. Fucking awesome. But there's a core group of them that travel the world and set up. You know all this mm. stuff, build all this stuff, and they're the the official. That they have they have a career locked. Yeah, figure that shit out. Well, and it's fun as a you know a car nerd to see this stuff. Yeah, you know, kind of the merging between what you played with as a kid to full size real life stuff. It's kind of cool. And listen, kids, stay in school. But if you don't like school, you can do arts and crafts professionally. <laughs> you can. Right? Hope is not lost. Right. If you're if you're really really good at it, you can yeah. like yeah, yeah go to movies and special effects and all that kind of crazy stuff. I tell people this shit know. all the time. Yeah. You can do it's arts true. and crafts for money, for That's real money, absolutely. and for awards. You can yep. get an Oscar you for get fucking get arts and crafts, right? Absolutely, yeah, totally possible. Yeah. What's happening in your so, world? Your, where have you been? Our world. Yeah. Well, you know, on the partnerships. So, so on the on the business side, I'm on the business side of the studio, yeah. Turn Ten uh, Partnerships. So working with folks like Lego, look, working with folks like McLaren. So out on the road quite a bit, meeting with folks, talking about what they're working on, what we're working on, how we can find some stuff to do together. 
How do people get it? How would um, so, someone get a gig like that? That's a, that seems like a probably a cool gig to like. I want to work for a video game company, but I don't want to design the fucking game. What else yeah. can I do? Yeah, you know, what you'd I mean? be surprised to the number of jobs that are available that are outside the core development of it. Like you know, what? Inspire so some got, youth, would well, you? No, absolutely. So on the we've got partnership side, one example. So it's. From a background perspective, really, I think anything, if you've got experience in marketing or sales, that helps, uh, or partnership management. Some people have partnership experience, too, if you can believe that, but come in and just manage those relationships and grow you them. come from a PR make, agency yeah, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of that works just fine. Uh, you've got uh, the other side of our team is licensing, mm. and that's a whole area of expertise, too. That's you know, so Yeah. That's like getting a car in those, a game is yeah, licensing. Bringing, yeah, bringing those brands in and uh, having them be a part of what we're doing. Uh, licensing business, fascinating. There was a huge big licensing show out in Vegas last week. The licensing show people, is cool, so. actually. That's yeah. one of those shows that you wouldn't think would be cool, yeah. but my dad took me to it once when he was back in the back in the fashion days. Yeah. There's some wild shit down there. Yeah, it's amazing. Types it's of stuff people are like, trying to do. You can get almost anything printed with your fucking company's name on it. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's right. It's totally yeah. possible. Swag. Yeah, that's, that's how we got all the swag gets made. All yeah, that's right. the swag. All yeah, the yeah. swag. It's very fun. Yep. Well, has, then, has the licensing partnership business grown like Forza, you yes. know, 10 years ago and, and other video games? Is, so, absolutely. yes. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Yeah, more and more I'd stuff. Say, you know, I've, I've been on the business for, for 10 years now. And when we first started, it was a lot of us being proactive, going after folks. And now, to be honest, it's a lot more of the phone ringing. Like That's people are nice. seeing what we're now doing. They want to be involved. Yeah. Well, and they see what we're able to accomplish. We have that attractive audience of, uh, you know, 18 to 35 year olds. And they're like, hey, we want some of that. And all these other things we're doing, we can't measure or are not working. So some see it as a marketing opportunity. Some see it as just a brand extension or awareness opportunity. It's um, it's really unique. Uh, but back to your question, though, and talking about art, too, that's a whole yeah. other side. So that we've got a team on, a, on our media team that puts together like a trailer you were showing earlier, Lego trailer. So oh, they yeah. edit all that stuff together or they create, you know, assets for us to use um, or they go into the game, just like some of our players go into the game and do like, the photography yeah. and capture. We've got a team of people. That's all they do. Yeah. Go in and capture that stuff for us to then share out when we make announcements. So there's a whole art team that, that works on that stuff too. Well, and people um, make like physical stuff too, right? Yeah. Physical like mm -hmm. displays and store displays and shit yeah, that's like right. that too. Yeah. Right? If you got all, yeah, that extends all the way out to all the regional teams and retail expertise and, marketing and all of that so there's there's a bunch of different avenues to get into the business yeah yeah have there been any now that i'm looking at that just i'm looking at the picture on the, the oh Jack yeah has up of your of uh -huh. turn 10 and I'm, I'm just noticed the steering wheel at the bottom of the picture is there have there been any yeah. in the last couple of years any major breakthroughs in uh wheel and pedal setups or is it kind of evolutionary i at wouldn't this point? Say it's sort of evolutionary there's not a ton of breakthroughs i think you guys still have the Fanatec stuff we you're do, running yeah, here. Which That's is nice. still the best of the best. Right My there, friend just, uh, Nick next, to, next door to me has like yeah. a pretty everything but the motion. Okay. It's got a six speed. He's yeah. got a handbrake and a, a hydraulic brakes and a clutch. Yeah. And he's, it's one of those direct drive deals yep. that's like real strong. Yeah. And I prefer, you know, normal uh, round wheel, which I love. Yeah. But he likes that butterfly, like Formula One wheel. Oh, sure. And yep. if you if you have a crash, that could break your it fucking arm. Yeah. yeah. You could get yeah. really <laughs> hurt with good. that. You should say, have you used that thing that no. Steinman's got? Uh -uh. You oh, should yeah. see how strong it is. You could have a yeah. real accident with one of them. The belts in there, not, they're not messing around. No. Those things are tight. Yeah, We've and you been, can pop uh, the different wheels off. And we were slightly amazing. cheating on you. We were playing a set of Corsa. Okay, it's okay. Only because they have the canyons. They have our canyons. Yes, our exact canyons. Yeah, they it's threw in amazing. some amazing. They threw in some uh, some little Easter eggs for you. There well, that's too, how I that's how yeah. I I fantasy drift the Countach. I I we have there the Countach in the game, and yeah. I go on Angeles Crest, and I drift it in vert. And it's actually I'm like, wow, my the chassis dynamics are so good. I would never try this in yes. person. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Fun. Um, well, at least yeah. I hope it's on Xbox. Uh, he has a uh, like a PC? super a super duper PC. Super PC. Okay. Yeah, it's right. got like well, fucking take PC too. It's got it's like good. UV lights in it. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Shit. Yep. it's like Hoover Dam powers. The yeah, thing. it's water powered. It's like but I mean, to nuclear give nuclear reactor fucking yeah. PC. I, I would yeah. give some credit. Like the idea of driving outside of a very controlled track was like 
the horizon was the idea. Nice to bring it yeah. around, that was Zach. Nice. It's true. I'm, I'm, not trying trying to to I'm not trying to undermine no. Justin. I just no, 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 no. Well, hey, I'm in our perspective is we actually love the competition, right? It's just say we, yeah. we welcome it, and we think everybody's doing some really great, unique stuff out there, and our preference, obviously, is playing on Xbox I have no fucking PC. loyalty to anything but, besides uh, the fact that my road is in right. that game. Yeah. That's fucking it. <laughs> yeah. If this dude didn't make this custom fucking thing yeah. for it, I wouldn't give two fucks. Yeah. I have well, no loyalty to the game at all. Well, every time we go see uh, Matt and Adam, they're like, hey, where's Willow Springs? We're like, well, it's going to Willow you know, Springs. You know, Get out of here. Why do you, you want to go there in fantasy? Yeah, so we right. can put on his Paul Newman yeah. fucking... Uh, <laughs> <That's right>. it's, <laughs> a, it's not... So, is it's that a very BRE challenging. Five ten, or it's is right. That? It's a really challenging track, but man, if, if like you, could, it's it's if you're in a video game, you can go anywhere in the world, possibly in the universe. Yeah. It's like Willow Spring, nine yeah. turns, yeah. no trees. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. Yeah, middle of the desert. Unless you can replicate homie with the Mustangs, yump, flip into wall. Yeah, then, it's very true. Then no thanks. Yeah. It's like playing Flight yeah. Simulator, and you're like, I'm gonna take off from Phoenix, <laughs> and I'm gonna land in Tulsa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I need. Go yeah. to Hawaii. Yeah. What are you that's doing? Right. That's right. No, it's a that's great, very good. That's a great point. I like that. That's a great point. Yeah. yeah. So like we can I'd rather really... circle Narita a dozen times. Yeah. You know. You know. Yeah. yeah. Fly yeah. the Jedi Transition Canyon at least in Nevada. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, and because they have motors, I'll just mention it. Flight Sim was also announced at E3 this week. New oh, reboot dude. of Flight Sim, and it looks amazing. Like what, they satellite you, imagery and can you pull up a couple and, like new stills? I'd like. So, to, I'd, oh, I haven't thought about Flight Simulator in. We goes back to like what ninety five. It's 96. one of the originals on on the Microsoft platform that, from I mean, gaming. That game it's amazing. In, the original Flight Simulator was so much prettier than anything else. Yeah. It was that was the coolest game when we were kids, man. Yeah. So there so should be a new trailer crazy, up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's is an, that really it? Yeah. Punch in a little, Zach. Can you zoom, zoom? That's yeah. so, amazing. Yeah. And this is, you know, a photo taken from a render screen grab, so yeah. it, it's probably much higher quality in, a, in the actual game. <sighs> yeah, there should be some uh, official photos out from uh, the press briefing Do you still start but, with the Sopwith camel? So. I, that I don't know, but that's all I remember. Just Let me that, find some, uh, some of wow. the content looks. Yeah, there should be a trailer up from this week. Or people have like sick cockpit oh, sims the, at their house the, too. Right? Three trailer there. Well, I'm worried if I play the trailer, then YouTube might think yeah. we're stealing the trailer. Oh, that's yeah. the, oh, that's right. Unless it's yeah, open that's for tough. like that's the problem with yeah. us. Yeah, gotcha. it affects us, but not as bad as it affects our friend Christian, whose entire fucking amazing show is based around playing music it's yeah fucked it's tough. <laughs> yeah yeah um you guys should hire yeah. him for a fucking party though he'd be amazing yeah um okay. yeah i really oh so it's tough to get stills huh it's all mm -hmm. video okay well i'm gonna go look at some of those i'm gonna get home later cause yeah I'm, now i'm excited it's pretty about cool that. yeah yeah can you i wonder if so. i can play flight simulator with like my boys like set can i use like a shifter as a throttle That's probably good. right yeah probably it's I all programmable imagine. right yeah i would imagine so yeah all the all the periphery out there is so much different product out there for people now can you google sick but, home theater like home flight simulator <laughs> setup i just want to see what, oh like, so, like what someone some of these are crazy screens right? like all the way down <laughs> you've seen those they're I, amazing i haven't really thought to look oh. honestly but i'm excited it can the get insane um, just, what other uh, like video just, gaming is there besides flying and driving that requires like holy shit that requires yeah, see, yeah. like this? That's fucking crazy. <laughs> that guy's wife divorced him. <laughs> <laughs> Thousand percent. That's a divorce setup. <laughs> or if he was ever married. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But I look mean, at that. That's so a lot of we're monitors. Look, we're looking it at is. five uh, five vertical monitors and then a couple One, side monitors. Four side monitors. Yeah. And then, these are and then oh those are monitors those aren't real gauges just, those are his, monitors his desktop there on the on the, just his regular pedals. desktop he's got Jeez. oh he's got a lot going he's on got there. a lot going on that's crazy but yeah Good well just him. like anything you know people are passionate about stuff they can I nerd guess, out and yeah. get really really down that rabbit hole that's true yeah yeah wow wow yeah. that's amazing that's pretty cool yeah so yeah, what's so. um what is the actual like uh, in terms of like. Uh, Oh, that's cool. This overhead rig. Oh, I like oh that. My, that's well, like an airliner, right? There you go. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's he very... built the switches <laughs> into the roof. Yeah. He built a, a, a thing that goes Whoa. over his head, and it's like wow. like sitting in an actual jet And look, the throttles are like actual. I think he went and got airplane stuff like from Airplane Graveyard. That like, would be program. very, very like cool. It. Oh, man. That these... seat, though. 
<laughs> yeah, all that, that, all that, that and he goes to Target for yeah. a fucking like good for an office chair. So good. <laughs> well, I guess maybe I, every time I see an airliner, whether it's new or old, and you, know, I, I board and peek in the cockpit. Yeah, I was like, God, they're doing a twelve-hour stint in that fucking yeah. shitty chair. I always well, feel so bad for yeah. them. Yeah, pretty amazing. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. I just did a. Th- I just did. Um, I think it was like the second longest flight I've ever done, which is Rome to LAX, was 13 hours, 20 minutes. Ooh. Which is a, as a hike. Wow. That's a long one. That is a long one. Yeah. That's it. Uh, uh, Auckland to Dubai was I was fif- going to say, Dubai's got to be the record. Yeah, Dubai one, right? involved, yeah. like, of yeah. the top 10 like longest yeah. in the world, Dubai is involved in like Always. five of them. Yes. Yeah. But well, Thaddeus, speaking of Thaddeus Rome, met us though from Dubai. Yeah, there you go. Well, speaking of Rome, I was I was hoping there'd be a bunch of meatballs on the table here to I'm sorry. partake. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> what, are, what's, what like are a we? bowl of M and M's? It's yeah. just meatballs you made. <laughs> That's That'd right. Great. We're gonna get some some one take uh, cooking shows out of you or what? I mean, I've you, been doing, you I've are been just posting my cooking on Instagram. I know. I've been tempted it's to do a cooking show, but it's impressive. I'm a little like. I know I know enough like to real chefs that I'm like I'm too self conscious like it's not at the level like I yeah. think I'm good and then a real chef comes to my house and cooks and I'm like oh I ain't fucking shit this yeah. this is a, this is a chef yeah and so I don't think I I I can show yeah. I can, a picture and a sentence is about right. where I'm at right yeah now. there you go <laughs> yeah All it's right. te- it's tempting though it has okay. been tempting yeah. they did a lot of cooking at my house and there's gonna be more because now yeah. we have all the olive oil in the universe. Oh man! Did and you we ship have, a bunch home. I carried. I Did carried you? a suitcase full of wine <laughs> and olive oil and cheese. Nice. <laughs> a big cheese wheel, whole thing. A big. I got three big cheese wheels. Oh, I didn't man, get the. I tried guys. to get the one that you turn into the bowl. Yeah. For Cacio e Pepe. Uh huh. And they were more than happy to sell it to me, and it was actually quite reasonably priced. Yeah. Uh, but there wasn't a vacuum sealer big enough to fit it. They could only fit like uh, they're like, sir, sir, and like nobody asks. <laughs> nobody, nobody, nobody asks nobody to bring these back to America. <laughs> they uh think that, but even bigger. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's and that, that's the uh the Grand Reserve Pecorino. Oh my goodness. Just run. Oh man, That's you can great. buy those bowls in LA, but they're like it's not the same. They're like yeah, it's not the same, and they're also like eight hundred dollars here. Yeah, and uh, I could have walked out of there with one for two hundred and seventy-five dollars from the farm that grew it. You know that yeah. that made it. Yeah, and Makes that would have really been yeah. yeah. Instead, they they do sell them cut into wedges as well. So yes, I bought a couple of wedges. Nice fucking World Cheese Awards twenty eighteen gold there you medal. Go. Uh, nice. <laughs> It's amazing that it starts. It starts like this, you know, a shallow bowl, and then uh, wait, you're you know, not, you're not, you're not displaying. Oh right, yeah, uh, uh, that's a D. Yeah, you use, you reuse right. it for a while. Yeah, right there. The, the, I mean, the middle on the left is this, the small, just continue the small to carve hole. it out. Yeah, and it just you keep tossing the hot pasta in it, and, and you it end up with you know deep bowl. Jeez, yeah, man. that's and amazing. Go go to my Instagram. I think uh, I'm pretty sure I had a picture of. One from Italy where that had the big glass like bell jar over it. Didn't we talk about it on our show? We talked about it on the show, but yeah. you said you didn't take a photo because oh, you didn't bring on, your camera. Out. I took it on my camera. Oh, that's okay. On my phone. But yeah, it had wow. like they had like a big glass bell jar on a pulley yeah. that went over the oh, big cheese ball. It was so amazing. great. So um, camera, not phone. So how'd that go? Because I'm struggling with that myself. I love dude, to take I, pictures. Yeah. You but know this what this thing did? is so handy. It is and easy. It is. But I have a, a I have a phone problem. Like I yes. because of my work and personal life, yes. it's just I'm just on it too much. Yes, it causes I, I tendonitis and, and it's just it's just a bad, it it's a bad habit. So I I told Hannah that on the vacation I wouldn't, I would I would minimize Good. it. So I left it in my hotel room, and I had a point and shoot camera that I carried with me, and I have absolutely zero regrets except. That I can't share the bell jar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't share yes. the bell jar picture. That's great. Um, yep. But no, it was great to disconnect. And, yeah. Um, it's the, you know it was I recommend it. I should, as yeah. as much as every human being can yeah. to get off the internet. Yeah. Um, it's really Completely like just healthy. better for you. Yes. Oh, and also, can I last thing on Rome? I, I, yes. God, they must be fucking sick of Rome right now. But when Zach and I talked about Rome. One of the things I kind of like griped about in Rome was that there's shitty graffiti everywhere. No. And I was saying how these like beautiful old buildings. Yeah. Just have shitty graffiti everywhere. And 
and yeah, and Zach found many pictures of shitty graffiti in Rome. And I was like, ah, oh, these people don't don't really appreciate the beauty of these old buildings or you know, it's just old shit to them. Right. right. Which I I, I wouldn't even understand that. But somebody from Rome wrote me a note and was like, you have us misunderstood. It's not that we don't appreciate the buildings. It's yeah. that Romans, going back to 800 years BC, are shitty taggers. <laughs> and that's a Roman thing. And I thought about it. We went to the Colosseum. Yeah. There are many examples of the Colosseum of the old marble bleachers yeah. that say, like, I fucked Marcus's wife. Right. Right. And, like, like dicks. Carved into yes. this. Yeah. And, like, it's just the most Roman thing to be a shitty tagger. <laughs> and he, you know what? I think the yeah. guy was right. The more yeah. I think about it, it is incredibly Roman yeah. of everybody to write Hilarious. crappy things all over the walls. Yeah. So there it is. There That's it is. The thing. Do we have any remember great? that Monty Python joke, Life of Brian? Uh, remind me. Like, he, he goes and writes uh, Romans get out on, like, the side of the building, and a guard catches him, but he misspells, and, like, his grammar's wrong, and so the guard's like, what is this shit? And he corrects it, and then he makes him write a hundred times on the building. <laughs> He's like, a hundred times. Uh, it's funny. That, was, that joke was kind of reused in Canadian Bacon. Remember that movie with John Candy? I never saw that movie, but I remember. It was, like, oh, John, one goodness. of John Candy's last movies. A great movie, and very pertinent to today's time actually because the US starts a fake war about Canada to with Canada to make a very unpopular president more popular and it's almost fucking real life now. Ooh, but right. he gets uh, <laughs> <laughs> a U.S. protester that hates Canada gets caught tagging like "fuck you, Canada" on somewhere, and Dan Aykroyd plays a French Canadian cop that pulls him over and makes him fucking spray paint it in French next to it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "We have two languages here, sir." <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, that's of course, a really good bit. Oh my god, those um, guys are so good. Oh, and Dan Aykroyd, John Candy yeah. combo, yeah. great outdoors. Oh, you can't fuck Classics. with it. What did I just watch? I just watched Uncle Buck for like the 10,000th time. It still holds up. Oh, man. It does. Uncle Buck a thousand percent holds up. up. And the Uncle Buck's car is still amazing. That yeah. j like 38 foot, I don't know if it was an LTD or yeah. what was it? It's a Broham. A Mercury Marquis Broham. Oh my goodness. And if you've never <laughs> seen Uncle Buck, people, yeah. it's one of the great, uh, actually. It was a cast member, I would say, it was. in it that, was. you know, it, yeah. was a, it was an early, maybe not an early example, but like very few movies where it's like the car is a cast member. It it's absolutely is a cast yeah. member. Yeah. Um, every time he turns it off, it like backfires like a shotgun, but he knows when and like you wait and it's like, tick, 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 and then he just puts his finger up in the air and it's boom. Yeah. He scares the shit out of people. Like it's, it's, yeah, so, it's genius. He also in that movie kept an ax in his trunk mm -hmm. as part of a thing. Yes. In high school, I thought that was so cool. I started keeping an ax in my trunk. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. What? I was what? A, what are you going to do with it? Oh. I don't know, but I was, a little, I was a little fucking bitch. And that <laughs> was, I, what? I thought that would make me tough. I yeah. don't know. Gotcha. Oh, that's so that's funny. It's fucking stupid. It's okay. I drove oh a muscle God. car. I was I was also a bitch. Yeah, it did. Uh -oh. The I uh, it got out that I carried an axe in my trunk, and it did. Uh -oh. It did intimidate someone that it, it did serve. It did. Its it never purpose. had to come out of the trunk. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Don't mess with Farah. He's got yeah, yeah, the axe in the, the trunk. <laughs> yeah. Intimidated somebody. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's great. Uh, there, <laughs> the smoky. So I mean, good. Uh, can someone just make a gif, uh, please, or of the, the fucking backpack. thing smoking backfire, so good. please? Um, well, then the uh, family uh, vacation car just auction or a replica. Shit? Hundred grand right? for that fucking yeah. thing? Really? You gotta, yeah. You gotta really love that movie, man. Yes. I well, mean, replica, I get it, but it's still fun, kind of funny. It is pretty funny. I, yeah. People have too much money. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> but the speculate for sure. now, you know, we're at peak speculation. Look at that. I, I feel like, thing. yeah, it's I got to give credit to those, uh, oh, Zach, wrong button. I got to give credit to those filmmakers because their goal was to create the most hideous looking. Yeah. Thing like ever. a car, yeah. a car for a man that has been absolutely defeated by life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Exactly. Right. That is the last car on the way to suicide. Exactly. Right. This is why his all his kids hate him. It really sums it up visually. Yeah. It's like, God, our dad sucks. It's so good. But it, God, he played that role so well. I saw so yeah. much of my own dad in Clark Griswold. Yeah. The, the Chevy Chase, like that peak corniness that he yeah. did as a dad, it was so my dad. Really and my good. dad, like, 
and when he was younger, like kind of actually resembled Chevy Chase too, and so oh. it, was, it it really was. Uh, all the, yeah, he does. He <laughs> kind of does, right? Yeah, he kind of does. Yeah. yeah, if you subtract like thirty years from my dad, you basically get Chevy Chase right here. So great. Google Google Roger Farah in nineteen eighty nine. Get an image of my dad. <laughs> I bet you do. There's a lot of pictures out there. Of my dad. He's a fucking. Did he go with the glasses too? I, uh, yeah, the glasses. Yeah, whole, the glasses are. Because that was a thing. Back yeah. Then, right. The, I mean, he still the fucking look. wears those glasses. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Nope. Maybe not. Nope. Pre-internet. Well, I know the audience is sick of hearing the stories, but w- family stoked about the wedding, though? Were they like, yeah, hey, yeah, this yeah. is well, great. They, they Got they Matt married off finally. It's good. They love Hannah. Yeah. And my sister's awesome. pregnant. Oh. So it's a double. It's a double. Double excitement. Yep. That's great. Yeah. Uh, before we awesome. get out of here for this show, do we have any questions yeah. from the audience? I think there was probably a co- Oh, shit. Yeah. Punch in. We got a bunch. Oh. Let's happy, bla- to, happy let- to do that. Yeah. Let's blast through some of these. And it was uh, just in uh, huh. Indy, too. You asked me earlier where we've been. We were at Indy oh, 500. Yeah. Was that your first was time? Exci- well, I'd been a long time ago when I Is lived out in going? Illinois. Yeah. Totally? Especially for the big show. Yeah. I was just there in the past for qualifying, but to be there for the, the actual show, it's amazing. I imagine you get good access. You get the hook uh, up. Pretty good. I mean, we were down on the starting grid and all that stuff for the race and the flyover. And that all track's that. I mean, too it's small. it's just amazing. I know I keep saying it, but uh, I went there for, to shoot something. I was like, this is, well, it's a special for Indy there, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that I was just, cool. I just couldn't believe how... Small it was. Oh, yeah. with the 1912 National yeah. and all if that you, weird stuff. If you've yeah. not seen it, check out the uh, the Drive uh, NBC Sports Indie Special. Oh, was it Proving yeah. Grounds? It was Proving Grounds. Proving Grounds. Sorry. Grounds. Sorry. Yeah, okay. so one of our guys drove uh, a 1912 Indie Championship car, which required yep. like two drivers, really, and it has yeah. two brakes. It has a, uh, uh, what's it called? Drive shaft brake, and then like a regular brake that only works yeah. like one of the brakes, and Lee locked up one of the tires for like a quarter mile, because he didn't know and That's so right at the end sketchy. when he's running towards the uh, the finish line there's just like a little you can barely see there's like a little bit of smoke behind him and he's just flat spotting this tire from like oh, 1920 no. oh. uh, and then Sam Smith drove a, one of Andretti's cars from like 1964 I think yeah uh, and then cool yeah it's cool That's but awesome. that track but just being there like this place it's so narrow for the speeds yes. they go. It's well, that's what's amazing, right? 230 miles an hour in qualifying, and then you stand on the front straight, and you're like, how did they <laughs> Right. Do you need that? a runway you're for like that. It's like being yeah. in Monaco. Yeah. You go, they fucking race here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is this about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's narrow crazy. That's why there's no passing stuff. in Monaco. I mean, it's yeah. really, really difficult. Yeah. It would be, pa- it'd be hard to pass go-karts yeah. there. But um, They should do a go-kart race. A should. go-kart race in Monaco would that be would incredible. Be pretty cool. They That'll should change incredible. if they change F1 Monaco to shifter <laughs> kart Monaco because all those guys came out of karting. Ooh. Oh, that would be pretty Ooh, good, actually. Man, that is an idea, Bernie. You send me idea. a check. Take at the night, idea. they should light it and do it at night. Oh yes, see that ass. Just I just made a hundred million dollars. Let's do it. I'll do it. I'll, you can get that idea for twenty. There you go. Um, I'm speaking of Sam Smith. I'm incredibly jealous because he mm-hmm. texted me pictures today of him and Travis, who are oh, I don't know doing where something amazing driving the fucking McLaren F1 They're LM. In like Philadelphia or where are uh, they? New Jersey uh, Motorsports Park. No, that is not that Sam Smith. Um, it's that Sam Smith, not the Sam Smith. Uh, on Instagram, yeah, driving that the Fitna, like uh, oh, wow. like as in I'm Fitna. Drive this McLaren LM. I, I'm fitting to race a car. I'm I fitting am. to win some. So jealous. Pittsburgh International Race Complex. That's where they are. Is that? Okay. That seems like a private no, track, it, maybe? It must be. God, look at that. Yeah. Carbon that fiber, the, so many buttons on the center console. Well, it's incredible. not the center, I guess, is it? It's, they have a Senna out with that, too. I mean, yeah. it's, I mean, but yeah. if you... Has there ever been a who gives a shit about the Senna moment until you, you know what I mean? You yeah. park it next to that. Yeah. Fucking who cares about the Senna? Right. Well, the Senna's, you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's like yeah. one of the rarest, best cars ever made, oh. period. Yes. So, yeah, it's any anything anything that came out would be upstaged by the McLaren F1. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It could be the yes. Ramats. It would be upstaged. It could be, you know, insert any car McLaren there. McLaren F1 yeah. is a, one of the only cars that can uh, upstage Countach mm-hmm. at uh, Cars and Coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Countach is game over. Everywhere, Everywhere. Even, yeah. Even yeah. Uh, they parked me at uh, this Cars and Copters thing. They yeah. parked me next to that Manny Coastbin dude uh-huh. and his um, fucking uh, Senna, liveried Senna. Yep. The, the, the yep. orange, yep. like, and... Uh, Wee, clutch, Oop, okay, sorry. And, oh, what happened there, Zach? And uh, Countach held its own. Nice. I mean, not that Manny Coastbin wasn't really cool. He was. Such and his great, car was really cool, such too. Such a but, great car. Oh, it's the best. 
Yeah. Uh, what we got from the audience? Uh, oh, well, watch and listen question. Any chance for a Vacheron Constantine branded episode of Watch and Listen? Yes. It is in the pipeline, I promise. That's one. Of, well, we might do two or three more episodes, and that's going to be one of them, especially because Cameron worked at Vacheron Constantine. Uh, nice. S, what other custom Aceto Corsa maps do I like? I'll be totally honest with you. I've only ever. <laughs> Just the Canyon. LA Canyon. <laughs> yeah. That game is for yeah. me to drive those canyons without consequence or rule. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell us about your dream car list. Wow. Justin? You got what do you got on the what do you got on the, wow, on the dream that's a car good, list? That's a good one. Well, my I have a bit of a an Audi affliction, uh, mm. so I've got uh, an RS3. Those are lovely. They're fun. Very good. Those are yeah. Very lovely. And then I you call APR yet? No. You gonna do no. it? Six hundred horsepower. I might. Four parts. I might. But then what am I gonna do with that though? Fuck have a great time. All the time. Balls, dude. Yeah. Doesn't it run eleven? Uh, like, yeah. yeah. You be like Group yeah. B. What's Group B? Yeah. What? <laughs> Yeah, so I, I I love love the Audis. Uh, I think if I could afford it, an R8 would be a great sort of mm. daily, especially in the Pacific Northwest. You get the rain and the hell all yeah that business. I um, drove one on a frozen lake and it was brilliant. Yeah, it was very fun. Yeah, now is a good time so to buy an R8. Actually, that's true. It that's is true. So that that's definitely on the on the list for me. But I think for you know cars sort of beyond that. Some of the McLarens, I think, are pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, the mm -hmm. 720s and the, the you best. Know, and you can't the new fuck with LT a and some of these those. are all yeah. inflammatory really statements, by the way. You like R8s, McLarens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. highly I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but I also bought last summer. I bought an '85 Audi GT Coupe. Oh, that's cool. Um, I like that from a guy out in New York, and uh, just to get a little old school, and it's fun yeah. to have something like that. Nice. You know, it's just is it in good shape? Back. Yeah, it's great shape. Cool. 16, 67 thousand miles on it that's the big body so, right that's that oh is that that one yeah oh cool yep. yeah i know it's fair yeah, that's the that slender one. one i was thinking that with the one yep. after that the later 80s yep. one where it got a little chunky nope that's the that's, that's the one. lovely yeah it's not quattro because those are a little expensive but it's uh it's front wheel drive and it's uh it's fun. Is it five cylinder? It's fun. Yeah, fun time. Yeah, so I got two cool. five cylinders. The, the, the parking lot at Forts, uh, I bet, is pretty cool. I bet it's a, it is, it's a little car show every day. It is I'm a sure. little bit of a car show every day. Yeah, we got the Mopar guys, we got the Ford guys. Do they park got together? This. Oh yeah, everybody in each rows. Other. Yeah, is there a dance off <laughs> on the way to the cars <laughs> not, every day? <laughs> not a dance off, but yeah, there's there's a lot of fun stuff. But uh, there you go. Yeah, uh, I'd like a six speed, three sixty. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Potentially. I'm driving one of those on Thursday. Right? Good. Yeah. They're fucking fun, man. Not they're not very fast, but they make good sounds and they're a good time. Yeah. Uh, I kind of also want a 328 GTS. Nice. A little bit. Yeah. Just because they look good? Yeah, just because they those look good. Cool. They look good. Yeah. And if they're the more you drive them, the better they work. And I actually, I kind of want to try dailying one for like a year, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Just for the experience? Yeah, we'll see. When I have, when the building's done. And I have room for something else. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll, we'll see what where we you have your own Redwood fleet here. You'll be rolling. I mean, I, you know, you, you like you like it's an good. era, right? Yeah, um, that's right. I, I I like that. You know, eighty five to ninety five. I'm a I'm a big fan of that that era yeah. of cars. And those I think those cars are not hard to um, maintain. Like I think they're fair. They're still pretty simple. Yeah, but they're. Um, not usually so much of a pain in the ass that you can't drive them in modern traffic and shit like that. I'd like another well, Skyline too, an R34. Oh, but pr I'd probably go. get a. I'd probably. I can't. We can't get those until let's see. Oh two. So yeah, yeah. twenty seven. So there will be cars in between that. Yeah. That's a I, that the three twenty eight. Pull that over. Um, I prefer the look, the front end of oh, the three twenty eight to the three oh eight. I like the 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 later nose, but other people mm. prefer the three oh eight. I like three twenty eight, but whatever. Yeah. I really I love the um, front fender shape, and then yeah. flows into that intake. I think yeah. that is yeah. just such a. It's like it's just the right size, the right amount of curve, not too tall, yeah. not too aggressive. Like the sun is a little bit tall for me, but, but on that's that awesome. Tar the Targa too is cool. Targa roof is great. Yeah. I miss having a Targa roof car. My Corvette. I, that was my favorite thing about it. Yeah. was the Targa roof, and I missed that. Yeah. Uh, oh, Steven said, yeah, if you haven't seen it today, uh, there's an article I wrote on Jalopnik. Oh, man. Uh, I, dr I rode all the mobility scooters. Yes. It took all fucking day. Great. I got Patrick to send me that. Uh, pull that pull that picture over. I got Patrick to send me that in high res, so I'm going to print it out big and hang it on the That's wall funny. in the new studio. That That's illustration great. rules. Um, I'm in like a Guido jumpsuit. Oh, it, so good. oh, it's a racing suit, but on me, it looks like a Guido jumpsuit. <laughs> 
<laughs> du- well, because you're not wearing a helmet, on it, yeah, so it yeah, looks yeah. like Guido jumps. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Um, no, um, that was a great piece. I actually just on the way here forwarded that to somebody who was all about the bird scooters. Did you? Like, loves the bird scooters. I look mm-hmm. at them and think I'm going to kill myself. Well, but it's a lot the, of people the are like, size of so the great. wheel is really a factor. Um, yeah. As uh, in in the stability and um, these are the ones Zach has up. Uh, if you want the short version, or you can, if you don't want to read my thirty-two hundred word fucking lightning lap of mobility scooters, um, these are wheels. That's the brand. Yeah, and they're little bicycles as opposed to stand-up scooters. So, like you can see on the right side of that picture, a bird scooter and the size of its wheel, and then a wheels thing and the size of its wheel. Yeah. So it's got a fourteen-inch wheel and dual disc brakes and yep. pneumatic tires, and so. There's my go back the, up to the, the map. That's the mobile ring. They're not prolifically everywhere across the country. Right I don't now, though, think right? so. Yeah. No, I yeah. I only did I did you shit just, you could get in Venice. Yep. Because like, I mean, it's look, good. there's a lot of them. Like there's a yes. lot of everything in Venice. Yep. So, and even since like I wrote this on May 13th, I think they air they 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 just put it up today but like there's There's already like like three more (laughs) yeah there are like i I feel kind of crazy but patrick was like dude the numbers in the story are massive you're definitely doing a follow-up as when every i now have a fucking leaderboard there you go but like dude i did that whole circuit pull that circuit back over zach the mobila ring which i bought mobila ring.com also of course you did because of course i did of course you did. i gave the story to alex roy i was like look this over he goes you bought mobila ring right and then, <laughs> and before i even replied i, I went and bought it, it before and he did. i was like yeah of course of course <laughs> i bought it so that's the mobila ring in venice and so you can go to the jalopnik article and get the map but it's great the bike path which is the squiggly part that's actually on the beach yep some of the scooters have uh you know, sp- speed limiters on the bike path. So I, I had oh, to they do because I, I know there was you were not allowed to ride some of them on the bike path for a while, and you couldn't park them well, there. Well, they and stuff. all have their own rules. Okay. Every company's got their own rules. They all negotiate <laughs> independently with the cities, so Whoa. it's fucking weird and crazy. But does one it automatically is, slow down? Sorry, to oh interrupt yeah, you, but geofence. It mm-hmm. does. Well, oh yeah. So you're just cruising all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, yep. Oh, there wow. it goes. Okay. And so many tourists don't understand. They think they're broken or whatever. But no, they're fucking. Some of them are geofence, and some just aren't. Yeah. So a bird will attain its will ride its whole tops anywhere no geofence yeah but a, a lime or a lift is yep. geofenced to like th- three miles an hour on the bike path so i rode that entire bike path at three uh, on one of these uh, fucking scooters it it's was a, it's a mile it's 1.7 miles yeah. painful but uh, the wheels are fast the wheels fucking mob yeah. Riding the bike path on a wheels is like riding a fucking, Weird. like a leader bike at the Nurburgring. Yeah. <laughs> it's so great. It's fantastic. So Very anyway, cool. Uh, go over to Jalopnik and read my article. Yes. Uh, I, would, I will give it a thumbs up. It was a great piece. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. It took me a long time. <laughs> it looked like it. It looked like it did. Uh, Chris says, uh, will we see Hot Wheels Island return? Uh, and will we see Toyota ever in Forza Horizon 4? And when will Forza 8 be announced? A three-parter. Oh, man. Chris, great question. All right, Hot Wheels Island. So Hot Wheels Island uh, is out and will remain out in Horizon 3. Uh, So people can still enjoy that. Uh, We, of course, just announced Lego. But we've got, you know, so Lego's the future the is Hot bright. Wheels Island. But there's future is bright. You never know what's going to come next. But yeah, there's there's fans. That was one of the quotes on that was great. Where somebody said, "I didn't realize I wanted it until I had it." Yeah. With with Hot Wheels, it was sort of a pleasant surprise for everybody, uh, and and people really loved it. So we would love to do more with them. We've got some physical world stuff with them going on, diecast lines and other mm-hmm. stuff like that. That's kind of cool. So I imagine uh, you will see a, a future of, of Hot Wheels content at some point with with uh, our franchise. Okay. Well, we see Toyotas in Forza Horizon Four. So or Toyota, Toyota's not. Toyota is an interesting story um, because you know we're based on licensing right yeah. so the way that our product exists is through these licenses with all these different manufacturers and whenever we come around to another development cycle on a title we go out and revisit all those licensing agreements so all every the new game has to be relicensed that's right yeah that's right which for our licensing team is you know 350 some partners yeah. you think about signs on the side of a track you think about cars you yeah. think about a race car they'll look it's Anything a lot of work recognizable that's right basically that's right and yeah. so some years uh some of the partners don't 
necessarily want to play ball or we can't get the agreement done in time when the game ships and all that sort of thing. So we know the fans are clamoring for Toyota. We're clamoring for Toyota. We'll just have to wait and see, you know, when that what that comes. Every once in a while, we we lose one. You know, for years, we didn't have Porsche. Uh, and then we finally got Porsche and made a big deal out of it. So, you know, we'll wait and see. Okay. Uh, any news on, on Motorsport 8? Motorsport 8, great topic. Uh, you know, this was publicly announced a couple couple months ago, actually. The development team publicly stated that the Motorsport team is working on the next thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that 8? Hard to say, but they're Well, they so it was shifted. announced. When will yeah. it announce is It's already. been announced okay. that we're working on the next thing. Uh, what that shape that takes, we'll see. But yeah, 7, the Indy pack, we were just talking about Indy. We just did a big pack with them in May, and that was sort of the last big piece of content that we'll have for, for 7. We're going to continue to support it with some, you know, occasional drops of content and esports and all that other stuff but the team is starting to shift their focus to the next thing and working on concepts right now uh how can i get a job with turn 10 chris says you love these questions too i know there's there's so many ways to get jobs uh it's it's really about where your passion is where your expertise is and then throw your hat in the ring and apply you know the great thing about can people apply on the website you think is there you think it's well go to microsoft.com i was just gonna say that the benefit of being part of that larger organization is we have a a lot of that infrastructure built in where it's very easy to find a job posting it's very easy to apply and people do get back to you so i'd encourage anybody who's interested in any of the studios whether it's 343 with halo or the minecraft team or us at turn 10 on forza go to microsoft.com there's a jobs link there you can do a search keyword search for forza or minecraft or whatever see cool. what jobs come up hit us up that is very specific. I hope Chris uses that. Very yeah. good. And everyone, I hope that was useful for everyone else. Fucking go to the website. Yeah. <laughs> Look. Yeah. Uh, Snuffles says, uh, uh, Justin, I noticed there's an AI controlled Mazda Speed 3 in Horizon 4. Is there any reason some cars are AI only and not player controllable? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, so what that do comes you know down about this Mazda Speed <laughs> 3? Huh? <laughs> That comes well. Clearly, Snuffles is a fan of the of the three and would like to have it for themselves. Um, some of it's really down to the design team and decisions they make. So, what, what's unique about Horizon is you have all this traffic, right? To populate the world, we have traffic and we have these cars out there that are just driving around, and then you add in all the players online, and you get a feeling of a of a vibrant environment, right? So, the design team essentially goes through the car list and says, "Well, what cars do we want to make traffic cars this year?" and they just pick them and yeah. throw them in so there's a whole bunch of cars that like my old uh, audi wagon my avant wagon was in the first version of horizon i'm like don't make a traffic car i want to <laughs> drive it you know, like, sorry dude it's a traffic car uh, so yeah. yeah it's just it, it comes down to the design team yeah okay so they just sort of pick and choose what they want to throw in there and and i'm sure that the the effort put in the difference between a traffic car and a drivable car is huge like, yes, you got a great well, point. Right, great point. We don't have to build the yeah. We don't have to build the interior. We don't have to build the engine. All that stuff that you would physics look at engine, this, like you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's exactly right. So the outside of it absolutely looks like the real thing, uh, but you don't open the hood on the traffic car and look inside. And yeah, you tune it. You don't do any of that. So you're exactly right, Zach. That that helps us from a from a uh, you know just a memory standpoint. I think right? I bought traffic cars for my uh, 3D rendering for my business. I needed to fill it with cars. Like oh, the, the, yeah. I th- and I and we meant they mentioned having to buy the graphics packages for these cars because mm. the graphics are, in that I'm, I'm looking at like they look like video game cars from yeah, yeah. ten years ago in in the yeah. thing yeah yeah, in yeah, your, yeah yeah the promo video yeah that's they're yeah. fine I think they were like five hundred bucks a car <laughs> something like that okay well like but there's the multiple of each like there's so there's like right, right. so I bought four or five different kinds of cars and then they're replicated gotcha, gotcha, different gotcha. colors okay. and stuff like that I was like the shot of inside in the parking garage is expensive <laughs> yeah but there's only, yeah. if you actually pause it and look there's like, like three cars there's only five I think different kinds of cars in there gotcha yeah, yeah. just different colors yeah but yeah tricky uh oh uh oh yeah Wyatt says Justin any chance of the Detroit GP track in a future game that's Belle Isle uh, yes as Belle, Belle Isle is Belle, Belle Isle, Isle. Gonna, gonna make an appearance in a, in a well, game well like we were joking earlier about Willow Springs and stuff that you know there's there's <laughs> never a shortage of tracks of, to put uh, in the game of ugly <laughs> shitty gray <Yeah>. tracks <laughs> no not to say that that uh Belle Isle is that Belle Isle is actually pretty cool um the way we do our track selection and, and track design, again, it goes back to the design team, the development team. So you, you, we have a running list every year of the tracks we want to build and put in the game. There's some that you always have to have, like 
Lamal, you know, yeah, yeah. Lasarth, and you have to have uh, Indy. Uh, and then the list goes down from there. And we take fan requests. We, t- we look at what the fans are requesting, what they want. We look at from the design side what we want. It's also very important for us to have diversification around the world. Mm-hmm. So we can't have too many North American tracks. And there's a lot of great tracks here in this country, obviously. Um, you've got a lot of private tracks, too. Uh, the, oh yeah, our private have, tracks like, cooperating Bar- with Barber games. wants to be in the game, you know, things like that. So, yeah, we've we've looked at a lot of those in the past. With thermal and, and places yeah, like that. Yeah, we've talked to all those folks, hmm. and so just trying to figure Monticello out the right way to. That's a great track. Monticello, yeah. Monticello, Monticello that's great. pretty. That I mean, track's that's, beautiful too. Yeah. I don't know if I've driven. Have you ever driven a private track better than Monticello? I don't know. I don't think I have. Bar- yeah. Barber's private. So Barber's, Barber's pretty cool. Uh, that's on the same level as Monticello. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, is Palmer? Palmer's the one with the crazy one in Massachusetts. Switch, switch back. Oh, no. Just get a picture of it because it's fucking batshit. They built it on the side of a cliff. Oh, I made man. a video with a Turner Motorsport M6 there. Like, get oh, an aerial nice. shot. That one. This place, like, the elevation is so crazy. And at one point, you're, like, driving up, like, a wall. And yeah. if you fuck up, insert, look you're at this. off the edge. No, no, you're not off the edge. You're literally into a rocky cliff. Like, yeah. If you loop it on the inside of that, you hit a wow. rocky cliff. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. Well, remember back on uh, Horizon 2 when you did the Forts of Fuel thing with yeah. us? And we went to that guy's crazy that track reminded in the me middle of, this. of yeah, nowhere. Yeah. That, was it Spain? Yeah. That Spain. Was cr- like, uh-oh, is that me? Is that my phone up there, Justin? It's probably me. It is. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. Sorry. What was the name of that dude's Spanish track? That shit was cool as hell. It was crazy, right? You're just driving through the countryside, and then all of a sudden, boom, track. You know who came to visit (laughs) me, by the way, from that Forza thing was Molly Taylor. Yeah? Uh, Not like that. She was in town like to do some work stuff. Oh, Is that Palmer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. That's a better elevation change. That's cool. It's like normal down at the bottom around the pits. Yep. And then you go up this giant hill that the uphill S's right on the the right center of the screen is a great transition-y uphill drift. And then the downhill S's on the back are mega sketchy. It's just like downhill switchbacks. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, And this is just some guy who's got a lot of money and a... It's property. A, it's I, a, I have a name, Justin. I have a name. Yeah. My name's Zach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's a semi-private track in Massachusetts. Wow. That's cool. That's it's real cool. It's real cool. But I got. I mean, I was testing a GT3 car there. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, Love here it. we go. But yeah, I mean, long answer to the question, there's there's no shortage of great tracks mm-hmm. out there, and so we have to be selective. Obviously, it takes us about a year, a little over a year to build a track. It's about a million and a half dollars to make it because of the sourcing that we go into it and we've talked about this i think in previous episodes yeah. with you guys is about even just harder the crazy when the track stuff is temporary yeah temporary yeah. ones are tricky too oh, and, and geez, we capture yeah. them at a moment in time too right so all the advertising that's on the walls all that stuff it sticks you know that's how it is in that version of the game for x many years uh and so it, it's a it's a huge investment for us and, and we obviously want to bring stuff in that people care about and people are excited about and have passion around but we have to balance that with what the design needs are of the game and like i said making sure we have geographies covered too yeah and i imagine so. the street circuits are really hard because they're only set up temporarily as that's you right. said so squeezing for for a racing organization to squeeze your want into what they're doing that weekend or that week is much more difficult yeah. than if you just you know private than a regular track has it's like okay we can't get you in in July how about August yeah yeah that's right I know when yeah. we try to shoot TV stuff sometimes the the race organization is like really receptive and sometimes they're like do you think we have spare time for you to like be on track exactly which is a totally fair yeah. reply well and the amount of time we need on track too. oh yeah so yeah. we end up doing stuff at night you know when really? they're when they're shut down yeah, you know, we're yeah, out there yeah. with the 3d scanner and the photography mm-hmm. and the guys with the gps backpacks walking the center line and the outside and inside lines and all that stuff whoa because we want to get the cool. elevation we mm-hmm. want to get you know as accurate as possible mm-hmm. so wow that's awesome yeah that's cool was there yeah. i think Long Beach was in there at one point, right? Yeah, it's still Long, in. It's still yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so it yeah, is Long possible. Is, but, oh yeah, no, yeah. we'll do. We do temporary circuits yeah. and, and Long Beach. Quick side story on that: we had Joseph Newgarden out years. This is years ago now when we launched it in Forza Five, come out and do a, val- a validation uh, verification test for us, which we bring drivers in all the time to do that test cars and test tracks and stuff. And so he was running Long Beach for us, giving us feedback on it. And he got off the sled and he said, you know, that, that manhole cover on the front straight's off by like three inches. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like. Okay. Yep. So we went back and looked at our reference stuff and we're like, he's right. So Whoa. we moved it. And That's the fact that he knew wow. that yeah, was amazing. Kind of but then, crazy, yeah. Dude. yeah. 
Well, he's also the crazy thing about Joseph is he was a Forza player and a Forza fan before he was ever in Indy even. So he has this long series history of us with us being on the leaderboards and all this stuff and then got into Indy and now he's just a great f- fan and advocate of what we're doing. But he's got a long history of Forza, which is kind of fun. I, you know, the, the e-gaming thing was weird and then I work with Parker Kligerman a lot and he mm-hmm. manages a uh, e-racing NASCAR team. Oh, yeah. And... You know that was very that was when he first told me about it. I was kind of like poo poo the whole thing, and then I, I watched a race, and I've seen messages and tweets from kids who like a guy in a grocery store seriously saw him and was like, "Hey man, I hope to race for your team one day." Like, yeah, that was pretty surprising to me. Like yeah. because getting into an actual race car is very expensive, but it 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 really is the it's an attainable thing. Yeah, so it it's kind of helped me turn the corner a little bit on it. Yeah. I mean, driving's more fun, but that was. Pretty, pretty impressive. Pretty yeah. weird moment. Uh, all right. Daniel says, uh, Matt and Zach, I drive a truck and listen to podcasts during the day. Thanks for the great content. Oh, yeah. And you bought a G350? There you go, sir. Very nice. Uh, Congratulations. Habia yeah. uh, <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Thank you, sir. I'm thinking about trading my uh, 2015 Volkswagen GTI for a 2008 Honda Ridgeline because I have a new baby and I need a light work truck. Ooh. Do you think I'll hate it? 2008 is the old Ridgeline, not the new one. The new one's fucking sweet. Yeah. Can you get into a new one? The new one rules, but if you can't... I'm sure, the sales guy is happy to work you a deal. I mean, look, if you're going to go from a sports car to a truck, trucks mostly suck. Yeah. But the Ridgeline is unibody, so it's about as good as you're going to get mm-hmm. in terms of yeah. quote car like dynamics you know I mean? think it, Andrew Collins wrote a good review on the Ridgeline maybe last year or the year before and it was just this is as much truck as like 90% uh, of people need yeah. and so yeah which I is agree. what everyone says about the GTI so he probably think this guy probably that's what it is he's got it's the right the GTI mental, yeah. of pickup trucks yeah uh, Joe Tacino I'm planning on uh, replacing my Porsche 991 1.1 cab with something more viscerable. Vis- viscerable. <laughs> Viserable. Uh, no. Visceral? <laughs> Visceral. Let me Viserable. Help me out. Visceral Visceral is a great word a for a word. shitty car that's too, that's scary to drive. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah visible. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Uh, we should put that on a t shirt. Uh, should I get a 993 Carrera 2 or a 997 Turbo? Primarily driven in Houston. Wow. Highways. Joe. How much 997 got? Turbo plus 20K in modifications. You have a Texas car, sir. 800 horsepower. Can't blow it up. Yeah. 997 yep. turbos run big fucking power. And if yeah. you're in Houston, that's what you drive. That, that's what you drive. Yeah. yeah. That'll be plenty visceral for you, buddy. Yeah. So a quick side question for you. What do you think about the Porsche? Do you think the Porsche market is going to continue to just do this crazy rocket ship kind of? Uh, no. No, I, it has settled already. There's been yeah. a settle. Has it settled yeah, a little yeah, bit? Yeah, there's been a settle. Yeah. You can buy like, like SCs got to like 50 for a minute and people were like yeah. hold a minute that's a sc you yeah. know and then it was like it came back down yeah and yeah. so now now like an sc which is pretty much the entry point into six cylinder 911s yeah is like all 911s are six cylinder but as opposed to 912s i mean um they're yeah. now in the low 40s you know in a, in a good yeah. place except for the very very you know ace yeah collector Special ones, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 um but like I think it's a good place to enjoy your money while it's parked in something for the most part. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yep. is l- just like, hope you don't have to rebuild an engine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Martin says, thoughts on Forza's VR future? Oh, any, any, Martin, uh, thank you for the question. Developments yeah. and goggles? Well, that's another great thing that being part of Microsoft, of course, we can tap in all that great research and all the cool stuff they're doing with HoloLens and all that other technology. So we're always experimenting with stuff and playing with stuff. I think from a Forza perspective, what we've seen is it hasn't quite taken off yet from a feasibility standpoint commercially, you know, so there's just not a lot out there for for people and we've been seeing and testing it's still there's a large portion of the population that still gets nauseous and still you know so it's really hard to to 
to sort of dial all of that in. So we still see that as very early. Yeah. It's something we're always looking at, obviously. Isn't there also um, another percent of the population so, that doesn't like having weird shit on their face? Well, that's what I was going to say. The, the model or the idea <laughs> of sitting on a couch with your buddies with passing the goggles around, or everybody's wearing goggles, hasn't quite broke through yet either. <laughs> um, so that that's part of it. But no, we're always looking at it. And like I said, especially as part of Microsoft and the broader research environment we have there, we're always experimenting, looking at things. But no no announcements on that right now cool uh zephyr r d says thank you for making the things uh i, will, I play forza while watching one takes in the background oh, helps there us you learn go. about the cars as much as possible before buying them. you're welcome sir uh let's see oh, that's another toyota question we already answered uh matt do i have any pl events planned in new york this year oh events in new york this year not that I know of. The only real event I have like booked other than cars and coffee shit in here in LA is the Lamborghini Festival in Houston in October. Ooh. I just booked. So if you're in Houston, uh, I'm going to that. Are you bringing the car? You're gonna not my car. It? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm. I, I have a call into Lambo right now to get a press car. Otherwise, Mister Hennessy has offered me a six by. <laughs> And I was like, yep. Well, <laughs> I would go. be the guy to roll into a Lambo meeting and fucking Ooh, six, six by six. <laughs> that's great. Um, but uh, I'm trying to get a Lambo. I want to be on brand. For sure. But uh, that's the only event I have. I don't know about it, But if I do something in Rye, you know, maybe 4th of July. Is this? Now whose phone is vibrating? Now it's God, you, motherfucker. Oh, man. Uh, put that on the thing. Uh, on what, this thing? what does that say? Uh, oh, Chris says a uh, nice talking to Malibu Cars and Coffee. Yeah, I went to Malibu Cars and Coffee, which was nice, kind of a chill, chill meet the other day. At, uh, on Sunday, I took Christian, mm -hmm. uh, Hand, and Vinny drove the Porsche, which was funny. I got pulled over on the way home. Really? Oh. Yeah, for al allegedly doing sixty four and forty five down the hill in front of the Malibu Shopping Center oh. by a motorcycle oh. cop, and. Uh, Yep. Was he there just picking everybody off coming yep. from the he show? Got a, he got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got. I got. I got a ticket. Day. I got a ticket. You did? Yeah, I did. I'm gonna have to call. Uh, yeah. It's my first ticket in a long time. Fucking, long time. Maybe yeah. six. Maybe five or six years. Mm -hmm. yeah. That one in that Lexus IS 250 we got on the way to that Hyundai that. Proving Grounds. Yep. That was the last ticket I got. Oh wow. But uh, yeah. It, it was okay. He, yeah. he got me good. He had a good hiding spot, laser, motorcycle. He got yeah. me good. But um, I'm going to, you no, know, we'll see. We'll see what we do. But uh, my favorite car that showed up there, uh, there was a, a Canepa uh, Porsche 959 SC. You know, one of those ones he's yeah. doing, it's like 800 horsepower. Yeah. Beautiful. Fucking fire. Yeah. Uh, Ryan from Shift Sector. Remember mm -hmm. Ryan? Yeah. Uh, he bought a Ford GT, triple black, brought it out. Looks real nice. Nice. And what the fuck else did we see out there that was great? Everything else was cool, but I don't recall anything. Oh, there was, um, oh, what was it? I can't remember the car. It was a rear-engined, like, hatchback that almost looked like, looked like a Volkswagen Squareback, but it wasn't. And it had a BMW K1200 motorcycle engine in the back. It was wow. weird as fuck. It looked like an old rally car. Hmm. I, I want to say like it might have been a Fiat or some some European like thing. Yeah, it was fucking wow. cool. Yeah, it was really neat. Well, that's what's great about this down here. God, Car culture is just awesome. Great. It's yeah. great. I mean, we have a few things up in Seattle, but nothing like you guys. Well, down you guys here. have the shop. We have the shop. How's the shop? Which is cool. Yeah, that's where my that's where my eighty five coupe lives. Oh, actually. does it? Yeah. Oh, do you yeah, actually go? Cool. Uh, do you go hang out there? Ever, not as or not really? much as I thought I would actually. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's cool spot for yeah. sure. And, uh, it's great to have that in the city. There's another higher end place that just opened over in, in the Bellevue area mm -hmm. where it's more about high end storage, sort of like the auto club guys down in, in Phoenix, you know, it's sort of oh, like, really yeah. nice and well, really, that's kind of like what I'm, or the shop my places like that. Yeah. Whereas the shop is more, you know, busted knuckles and in Greece. Um, I would love to have a place so. like the shop, but the, sh we don't have the, the, the space doesn't exist in this part of town for that. You know, yeah. it's Seattle is a bit of a different, different market. Yeah. Um, but that's a cool spot. If yeah. I lived in Seattle, like I yeah. would totally have my car. Well, in that restaurant, I don't know if you stopped in the bar when you're down there, the restaurant, 
restaurant, but it's really good. Uh, I didn't too. eat, but I did drink, and they do pour them. They so, do. Yeah. And I wasn't fucking yeah. driving. I was yep. with I was with my homie yeah. Ben Abrams from you know Ben. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The E-garage. Ben's, they've been working on some content for us. Oh yeah. yeah. Ben is Ben is a sweetheart. He's yeah. a great guy. So he's my he's my Seattle connect. There you go. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, on, Onofre B says, I'm building my Mustang uh, after the Mustang on the tuned shootout. Is it dumb that I'm doing it with a V6? 90% of the way there. Um, he just dry, daily drives it, autocross, rally. Cr- I mean, look, wow, looks like he beats the shit out of this thing. Nah, fuck it, dude. Those suspension mods, like, apply to a V6. Yeah, 100%. I mean, it'll be for all those things, like, you know, you don't need as much torque or power as you think, especially, yeah, drifting, rallycross, all that stuff. It'll work for that. And then I bet a lot of the parts, I, I bet a lot of the parts swap over. I don't think like, they're, I think they're a hundred percent of them swap over. Yeah. There's no like space issues or anything. Right. So yeah. it's all just connection. It's so if you shit. ever go, you know what I do, I really do need more power and you want the same platform. You could just switch all the parts over and take the stock ones off of V8 and then swap them and then sell the car. Actually, yeah. that would work really well. That would work pretty good, actually. That's a good idea. Yeah, and you're going to probably make a lot of dudes with V8 cars feel really bad if they don't have any suspension mods when you beat them at all of these things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that Maximum Motorsports kit, which we so keep good. talking about fucking two yeah. years later, I think it's ten grand maybe for the whole kit. Yeah. You just get a stock 2013-14 Mustang GT. Yeah. For like twelve thousand yep. dollars, put this shit on, and it just will handle beautifully. Yeah, and just be very, very fun. Cool. Uh, yeah, go for it, dude. Go, go with your bad six. Uh, Joe says, "What are some key things to check for when inspecting to possibly buy a kind of ratty nineteen ninety nine SL five hundred? Oh, well, there are several. How much time you got, buddy? How much time you got, and how nice do you want it to be when you're done? The big one." Um, obvi- aside from the obvious, your engine and your fluids and drive it and make sure it shifts gears properly and the diff isn't grinding and the suspension isn't blown out. The Past yeah. the obvious, the big one is the top. The top, uh, the hydraulics are crazy expensive. And I mean, if it breaks and the car is ratty, it could total it. Like, it's five Gs to replace the hydraulics in the top. Wow. And a crappy yeah. SL is eight. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and you just unloaded yours, right? I just sold mine. Yeah. yeah, I sold mine. And I'm, uh, I liked it. You had a good I, time with it, right? I liked it. I, daily? Yeah, yeah. It served its purpose. Hannah liked it. I drove it. Uh, I put 6,000 miles on it in two years. And it's pretty good. For It's almost exclusively LA traffic. For, yeah. for traffic miles, it's it's good. And I, I really enjoyed the car. And the dude who bought it is so stoked on it. Yeah. Um, but the, the big one is the top, the hard top and the soft top. So you need to really make sure that those things work properly. And they're not the easiest things to operate. So read the fucking manual because I, when I went to sell my car, I had only taken the hard top on and off twice in two years. I didn't really... There's a procedure, and you yeah. have to follow it, otherwise it won't work. Yes. And I went into like a sweaty panic, because I was like, oh my god, oh, I, it's broken, I'm fucked, the guy's not gonna buy it, and then I was like, no, 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 yeah. I'm not, it's not broken, yeah. I'm stupid. German manual. Started over, <laughs> read the book, and yeah. then it was fine. Yeah. So, so check that, not only the hydraulics on the top, but also the top being torn, or whatever, is very expensive to replace. Also, trim pieces are they cracked um are they missing fucking if you they're shockingly expensive i have bought yeah. a plastic piece that all it does is go around the 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 hinge for the visor it was just a bullshit it was 80 yes. dollars <laughs> it was bullshit you know what i mean like there was yeah. a plastic housing that held in the um air conditioning compressor Piece of plastic was eleven hundred bucks. What? Yeah. So like, it's stuff like that that'll get you. Like, if the oil's clean, it'll it'll still run. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, the motor's tough. The gearbox is tough. But trim is crazy expensive. The top can total the car. Well, because I mean, they, they change the interior on a car way more frequently. Like they might use a lot of the engine components for yeah. twenty years. Yeah, the five hundred motor. Yeah. Forever, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, um, especially the '99 and the '9901 because they ditched the four cam heads and they became it becomes a single cam engine, and then it gets much simpler. 
So, yeah. But those visors, man, we do those exactly. every year. Yeah, we, we change <laughs> well, it. If, I, if you have to get, um, like, the uh, dome light bezel, like oh, the plastic housing around the that. dome light, it's like $500 for a piece of fucking plastic. It's ridiculous. It's wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's, you know, that's a 20-year-old Mercedes. Yeah. Well, and not to tangent too much, but for the Countach. You don't even, don't even want to I don't, I don't want to talk about parts, but just uh, how hard is it to get parts for that? Uh, it like, depends I imagine who, it is. It depends who you know and depends yeah. how how long you got. <laughs> yeah. Um, I haven't had any problems yet. Okay, Every, good. I think, I think body panels... You know, yeah. I, I think forget it. Like I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. even know if you get a crash, what you would do. Yeah. But um, I got the original parts manual, yeah. uh, which David, who owned the car, had, and he gave it to me along with the tool roll, which was pretty cool. That's awesome. Um, but so far, everything I've needed, I've been able to get. That's good. And you know who? You know who's actually a resource? A name you probably know, yeah. Valentino Balboni. Oh, sure. So Valentino's. Yeah. Actually, his at his gig right now yeah. is that he is a vintage Lamborghini parts supplier oh, in New Jersey. So smart. He hooked up with fucking Rob Ferretti over there. So this, smart, right? You ever imagine this? Val, I mean, you do if you know them. But Valentino and Rob, and Rob's not involved in that business, but he's in Valentino's on the East Coast in America, smart. slinging Lambo parts. So if I ever need smart. anything. Um, you know, he's 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 got he's a connect as well. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if three D so printing it's... will change that game a little bit. Like if yeah. you can get you know, if a Mercedes shop has two visor things mm-hmm. and they just scan it and that way in oh, the, the future. Oh, the one I got was three D yeah. printed. Was it really? At any, it was eighty dollars. Yeah, the, the OEM right. one was two hundred. Oh, okay, so it's already happening. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got you by the balls, son. And the three yeah. D printed one cost twelve cents to make. It doesn't, you know yeah. what I mean? So, uh, can you scroll? I can't. Yeah, uh, I, I, I can't scroll anymore. That's the, the end. Okay. When I got the eighty five coupe, I thought, oh, it, it'd be easy to get parts. You know, Volkswagen, Audi, no problem. And yeah. now I'm like searching German websites, yeah, right? trying to find German eBay, yeah. trying to find stuff. You're like, oh, is that car an import or? This was a new US, no, US spec car, but it's nothing. hard to find stuff, so Who's it's just got, looking uh, everywhere. So I've got all sorts of funny sources now to find stuff, but it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, I bought a Mitsubishi Delica, which I haven't taken delivery of yet. Ooh. But I was, you know, what those are the I Japanese think, vans, yeah, yeah. And um, but underneath it's basically right hand mon- drive, yeah, right, yeah, whole thing. and automatic, yeah. but uh, underneath it's basically a Montero. So okay. like almost all the the consumables and like a lot of the electronics and all that yeah. kind of shit is uh, interchangeable Montero parts numbers, which is fantastic because almost awesome. anything you need, you can get it like an AutoZone here. Yeah, nice. DelicaUSA.com for so anyone who wants to know. Shop Shockingly truck? good resource. Is that going to be your shop truck or what's it? Yeah. Can yeah. you divulge what the plans are? No, that's it. Thing. That's, yeah. that's really, I mean, Hannah's going to drive it for a couple of months until she decides what she wants to get for herself. Nice. And then it's going to be shop truck. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Brett wants to know, why is there not a Forza 4 remaster yet, but Horizon has one? What, uh, are they remastering old games? Excellent question. Well, we did go back and remaster a few games uh, to bring them up to sort of current visuals, right? Uh, but oh, cool. back to that licensing uh, diatribe I went on earlier. Same deal. We, we'd have, for Forza Four, we'd have to go back and relicense all of that content, and that would—it's just too yeah, much. Yeah. Work. Right, but Horizon Whereas being it was fiction. Easier. Well, Horizon also being a little bit more recent, it was easier for us to go back and do that. And some of the f- games, you know, that we're working on now, we've written in. Well, we're going to put that on PC. We're going to upres it when we you need to do that. And we got our our, our newest product, Forza Street, which is on PC and coming to mobile later this year. We're also writing that into everything too, so we don't have to go back and renegotiate all these programs with all of our partners. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, what uh, mods did oh, I do to the one, Crown Vic? Actually, the second half of oh. that show, the question has, I have a direct answer to, would I like to have Hoovy on the show? Tyler Hoover will be on the show soon. He's promoting a TV show. He sold a TV show that's called, like, Tyler Buys Shit Boxes or something. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what it is, but he basically bought, like, 25 cars in a couple of with over in a couple months and they're all terrible of course but um he messaged me last week and said he wanted to come on the show i said yes so to answer your question yes tyler will be back cool um and he's apparently doing very well um he, he buys he's definitely youtube rich for sure yes he is he, he, is, he, he buys freddy's cars which is funny right yeah. that's like the life cycle of a of a shit box on youtube did we yeah. bring up yet that the million mile lexus freddy is not turboing but restoring 
He's going to restore it? We did, and I so wow. I need to know what that means from him, because I, 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 I need clarification. I haven't talked to him. I just heard it from Thaddeus, who actually watches videos on the internet. <laughs> and he's like, you don't That's know great. this? I was like, no. I was like, how do you know? He's like, who watches video? I was like, oh, you do that? Yeah. Um, Zach, what mods did you do to your Crown Vic? Uh, all I did was a limited slip diff. It was the Torque, um, what's it called for Ford's? Ford's LSD, whatever it was, and it was a 28 spline. That's all I did. And I had them, pack quote, pack it tight, according to the mechanic, so that it locked up uh, more willingly. Uh, that was it. As you, you do with the Crown Vic. Oh, yeah, and yeah also, don't do anything with the Crown Vic. Just, just beat the it. shit out of it. Yeah. yeah. And then a shout-out for the session with Christian James Hand, if you haven't checked that out. People either don't get it or think it's the, like discovering fire. Uh, my friend deconstructs music, and it's fucking amazing. Just go to the session with Christian James Hand if you want to hear some really, really dope shit. Nice. Uh, oh, Blackmount wants to know, what's up with Mitsubishi in the Forza games? Well, there's always half a dozen Evos, but the FTO, GTO, and Starion seem forgotten, especially in Horizon. Yeah, Black Mount One. That uh, I think that goes back again to the design team. Yeah, yeah. You know, decided you don't have to give them. Do. Don't yeah. you don't have to give them a dissertation so. on the. They can't put every game, every can't, car in. Yeah, and Evos are very popular. Yeah, we got and over six hundred something cars, and you know, try to get one in there for everybody, but can't get them all. Uh, uh, C Hamilton wants to know: Have I thought about doing a five hundred thousand mile? No, I, I haven't. No. Uh, a 5,000 mile Porsche challenge? No. I learned with the Lexus project that those kinds of projects are stupid. It takes a while. Yeah. They're so expensive. Yeah. They take forever. And what happens when you get to a million miles, Zach? Nothing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that, that car just keeps going. I did watch that, though, with you guys sitting there with the camera from the dashboard. Oh, You're yeah. driving like, oh, here's some miles. No. Kept uh, going. I mean, it just, kept going. It just keeps going. Yeah. Yep. It's like, like have you guys watched Long Way Round, you know, the uh, you and McGregor movies? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I've watched half of them, and... At, when you hear the idea of the story, like that's amazing, and then you, when you, if you kind of heard it in a more succinct version, when you, they actually shot like twenty episodes, and each one's like an hour long. It's a really long series because each episode, like half of the episode, is where are they? What are they? Who are they talking to? What's wrong with the bike? It's and then the other half is like riding. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think if if you did a five hundred thousand mile trip in the Porsche, or like we learned with the uh, the Lexus, the the, the percentage of um, interesting, amazing, holy shit, I can't believe this happened thing, yeah. the ratio is like one to 10 of like, we drove the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. I commuted with it for a month and nothing happened. And it worked. Yeah. 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 And wasn't it going to well, be a all cars go to heaven three sort of thing you know, at some point? Or? Uh, yeah, but then fucking nothing happened. It took I mean, forever. honestly, yeah. I, car works, car breaks, car works. Car, like, it's just, yeah. what what is more, as it turns out, I'm glad we didn't waste time filming it because it wouldn't have been good. But yeah. what is what could be good and might still be good is the, the log book, which I am yes, I heard trying you're... to get Lexus to help me make it into a coffee table yeah. book. Maybe if I if I throw the like a charity log on the fire, they might do it because I don't. It's not about the money. I just think it's really cool. Yeah. And people who write books don't make money anyway, so fuck it. Right. But like, I just think it would be interesting, and it's too it's yeah. too good to not share. I right. Think, so yeah. And I think like. I don't know. Maybe you could just like make every Lexus dealer buy a copy, and then you there you go. I mean? yep. Bestseller, New York. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Jason says, "What is the ideal car to rent for a road trip through the foothills of Appalachia?" I want a Miata, but I don't think I'll be able to get a stick. And rumor is they're loud on the highway. Rumors, fucking right, sir. Camaro SS. Ooh, I like it. Rent that. I like a Camaro SS. Mm. That great works. chassis, real good. You can yeah. rent Mustangs too. Hertz I mean, rents Mustangs both. Good options. Yeah, I don't know what yeah. Taro's got. It's probably limited in, in depending on where you're flying into. But uh, Camaro SS is. I'm gonna go with Zach on that one. Maybe you can get like an F type. I mean, if you want, the more you, you can get, like Hertz has the executive sh shit, and it's like so they have 911. Some yeah. and sometimes AMGs. Just it depends on which region you're in. But yeah, yeah I mean, if you want to spend a lot of money, you can. I figured, I figured if they're starting with Miata, then yeah. <laughs> renting an AMG Correct. might be a little out of the budget. Uh, yeah, I mean, Camaro SS is a great one. It holds some things. It's pretty fast. It's not loud like a Miata on the highway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of fuck. When we, I went to Global uh, Time Attack at Buttonwillow. Yeah. Um, and I was doing some, like, announcing. And uh, homie was out there racing, and his race car broke the day before. Yeah. And he went and rented a Camaro SS, did absolutely nothing to it, and fucking podiumed. 
And he he was I think he ran under ah. he ran under two minutes around Button Willow in a rental Camaro right. SS mobbing. He yeah. beat that guy. He beat that guy in the Tesla Model Three performance like with dual motor. Nice. The guy who got uh the what uh, not not banned but like uh he won something but like he wasn't he the rule required that he used gas like yeah it was a weird thing oh, yeah. I forgot about that yeah. story yeah. yeah. I don't know. Fun taking that back I don't to the rental counter. Yes. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we're good. Nothing. To, we're uh, great. Don't, yep, thanks we're so great. much. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Last but not least, why aren't yeah. my cars in a Forza Horizon car pack? Safari 911 would be an excellent uh, Forza that Horizon. That would that would be. That's true. Really, it we fits should, Horizon. We should go anywhere. Turn the mics off and talk about that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we did. We have had a a, a TST uh, car pack did, in the past, and we had Crown Vic in there. A few I other was fun amazed. things. So, so proud. Super fun. Yeah. So we we definitely have been down that path before, and there's no reason why we couldn't to talk about if you need in the a future. Kutosh and a pink so, safari car i have you yeah. covered and what and yeah. so we could have a beater m3 yeah it's not, <laughs> <Here we can. laughs> it's not a beater it's just dirty it's so dirty yeah. right now it's parked really under dirty. the wrong tree yeah. <laughs> yeah um yeah man so uh lego expansion pack yeah what's what's the real name of it lego it's a forza speed horizon Ch- for speed champions lego speed champions yeah expansion there it is yeah. it's out so now so, uh, by Thursday. the time this goes up Thursday so yeah, yeah basically Thursday this week it'll be yes. out yeah and uh, check it out it's a lot of fun um, thanks for coming in dude absolutely pleasure to be here do we Zach good does, time. did you put that up do we want to talk about that I think I think mm-hmm. we probably do mm-hmm. but I don't know I mean we've put it on social media a lot I think oh, so it's, it's really, not ever it's, it's not really evergreen story. It it's sucks. not evergreen by any means and I don't even know things are happening quickly so I guess only for the live people at let's see June tenth at exactly six thirty two p.m. West Coast. Uh, Davy Johnson, who I don't know well, uh, he's a really good friend of Spinelli's and uh, the Alex early and, yeah. Alex Roy, uh, early Jalopnik guys, Alex Nunez, like um, and and uh, writes a car and driver, and went rode his motorcycle uh, and is now missing. They found his bike. They found yeah, some they found clothes some of and his stuff, computer which is random by right? a river. Yeah, and they have not found him. So or his wallet. I, I or his thought wallet. I had read that, and they yeah. were asking they for didn't anybody find his who wallet. could knew his credit cards or anything could help him out, family or something, to help the police out. Yeah. So yeah. there's people that are handling all that. There's like a massive at this time search undertaking. There was a GoFundMe set up that raised. Uh, quite a bit of money to continue search uh, over time and stuff yeah. like that that was really amazing um so we we don't have any knowledge right now so if you're uh i don't know if you're listening live and you happen you happen it, to it was in them, like the sonora pass near sacramento area so it's just like yeah. if you drive that route often uh just i guess keep your eyes out basically you yeah. know they have, they have a lot of search and rescue out there but you know I don't know. You never know. It's uh, Keep your eyes so open. I hope this turns good soon, but he's been missing since Wednesday, and it's now Monday, which yeah. is a long time. It's a long time. So uh, that's kind of a downer. I I, uh, I I hate to be the bearer of uh, those kinds of bad news. Sorry, but um, what else we got tomorrow, Zach? Aren't we here tomorrow? Yeah, we have We're a show here tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh yeah, with uh, Lynn Woodward. You know Lynn Woodward? Mm, yeah, she is lovely. She is a car writer. She is a uh, a video host for Kelly Blue Book. Um, she did a she she took my Lambo to her seat to her ten year high school reunion before it was mine. Like the old owner oh, lent nice. it to her to take to her reunion, so she's got story about my car. My car, my car was Great. a bit of a dirty hoe before it was mine. <laughs> like it's nice and it's good now, but it it definitely they got around. They call it Provence, don't they? It is pro- hashtag Provenance is yeah. also hashtag this car is a dirty hoe. Yeah, um, she's got good cars. She owns a '66 Datsun 1600 and an '87 yeah. Montero. Yeah. Oh, we could talk Mitsubishi's. Yeah, Lynn rules and. Um, so that's tomorrow uh, afternoon, five Tuesday, uh, five p.m. Pacific. Justin, do you want to plug anything besides Forza Horizon Four? No, Speed just, Champions you know, Lego just expansion hit us packs. Up. You know, we've got a lot of great. You were talking about your garage earlier. Got a lot of great streaming content up mm-hmm. there now. So hit us up on uh, Twitch and Mixer and YouTube. Uh, look for uh, Forza Motorsport or Turn Ten Studios. All the places besides Xbox itself. Yeah. 
Cool, man. Yeah. Thanks so, for coming yeah. down. Tell Dan we said hello. We'll do. Tell him yeah. he's a bitch for not being here. Pleasure to be but here. He's got Thanks a job. For, Thanks for having us. No and, worries. Uh, yeah. Thanks for the Legos. Keep it going. You bet. Enjoy. All right, guys. The Smoke Entire Podcast is, you know, powered by Shout Engine. Get your own damn podcast at shoutengine.com. It's easy. All you need is a microphone, a connection to the internet, and ideally something to say. See you tomorrow at five. Peace.